Hi, this is Vijay Kesari and welcome to Andhra Podcaster, where we discuss questions, perspectives and possibilities focused on development of Andhra. All right, we are set, Siddharth. Siddharth, welcome to Andhra Podcaster. And hey, hi. Siddharth, Siddharth what, what reminds you of or what comes to your mind when you hear about Andhra Pradesh? Chettinad. Chettinad is not in Andhra, that is Tamil Nadu. But they cook pretty good Chettinad in Andhra also. Is it? Where? Where is that? Yeah. So, I, I stayed in Andhra for a while, uh, for work purpose, of course. Uh, I went to a lot of places in Andhra. And, okay. uh, uh, of course, the Andhra curry and, apart from Andhra curry and, yeah, apart from Andhra curry and, you know, other Andhra dishes, I found Chetna mm. to be very good. Although, I, even if I compare it with those, you know, which they cook in Tamil Nadu, it is better than, okay. better than that. Yeah. So, spicy okay. food. Food is something I can resonate with any place, but with Andhra also, it is it is amazing. It is wonderful. I really enjoy food in Andhra Pradesh. Okay, okay. So, I'll just briefly introduce you to Andhra Podcaster, um, Siddharth. Okay, so we are a small community on YouTube and other social media platforms. So, the purpose of this uh, Andhra Podcaster is to discuss questions, perspectives and possibilities focused on the development of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. And in light of that, we invite guests uh, from different walks of life who are subject matter experts, practitioners from different domains, <coughs> policy makers, uh, researchers and so on. So in that due course, you know, I have been following, like I said already, that I've been following your perspectives on LinkedIn. And, uh, you know, I thought you were somebody that Andhra people should get introduced to because you, I could see from your post that you have seen the harsh realities of life and built a stellar career. And then you turned out to be an entrepreneur now. Okay. So, which is, which is what, you know, people should know is what I thought. And then I requested you for this. And thanks for agreeing to do this podcast, uh, uh, Siddharth. Welcome. Anytime, anytime. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thanks to all your listeners also. I'm sure they learned something new listening to what I have to share from my from my experiences. It would be very different from, see, everyone has their own challenges, right? But uh, what we can grab from those challenges is something which makes us different. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, I'll break this episode, uh, this uh, our podcast conversation into three segments, uh, uh, Siddharth. Okay. The third one is where we'll pick up, uh, I'll uh, post you all or present you our community members' questions. So, I've already shared that you're going to come uh, to our podcast <laughs> And uh, they have shared that set of questions. So I'm going to share them with you in the third segment. In the second segment, I'm going to, I want to explore your personal side as well. Okay. When I, and why I'm interested on your personal side, you know, because there is a lot of society and there is a lot of social side to your personal side also. And the way you put out statements, I've picked some of them and I want to really know that side. Okay. And know the, know where this fire comes up. Okay. Because I see that lacking very seriously, at least in my, you know, uh, you know, vicinity around. Okay. So I want people to know that side of the story of your story as well. Okay. And in the first segment, you know, I want to explore your entrepreneurial journey and your, and about your brand Humberto. Okay. So how does this sound good? Sound, sound to you, Siddharth? Absolutely fine. Yes. Good, good. Okay. So, so Siddharth, you had a stellar career in sales. Okay, so you've been selling since 2008. So what what made you to pick up entrepreneurship? Okay, before we get into your Humberto and all, what hmm. turned you towards entrepreneurship? See, after spending 15, 16 years in sales and, you know, uh, learning how to sell, you know, uh, I realized Siddha, that... Uh, Siddha, uh, sorry, uh, is it possible to slightly adjust your camera or take it? Uh, like slightly this? farther, yeah, Better? yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. I think that that would be good. Even if you come forward, uh, you know, if you can just push your camera back, I think that should, yeah, yeah. This is better. Yeah, yeah. This is better. Yeah, yeah. Please. Like go I said, I'm new, to pod- I'm new to podcast, so I am not so experienced and do not have those headsets and mics and everything. So. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. So uh, after spending so much of time in sales, and you know, and I've done sales, every kind of sales. So door to door, I've done, I've, I've visited people also, I've done uh, the kind of sales where your boss asks you to leave office at 10.30 a.m. every every morning and do not come back to office before 5.30 p.m. 
so i've done all kind of sales i've seen pressure i've seen all those lives uh, i can tell you that i can sell you whatever i want i may take time mm-hmm. but i can sell you whatever i want and i know that skill pretty well and this is something which books will not teach you this is something which <clears throat> you know uh, uh, a cabin will not teach you this something can only be taught once you're on the field so when i realized that i have i know i can sell uh, that's when i want to know what i want to sell mm. right first i know how to sell then what i want to sell now i am sure i do not want to sell technology that's because technology requires a lot of capital it requires a lot of funding it requires engineers it requires coders it requires everything you know mm. so i re- i realized that technology is something which i cannot do because although a i have a lot of series a lot of, of series of fundings as well yeah that's because it needs capital na no? continuous capital so i i knew that i cannot do technology because i do not want to you know raise funds again and again and then technology the way uh, you know government of india is uh, scrutinizing technology is something also is, you know it's not alarming but it is just being regularized you know so so this is something which i do not want to do so first of all i need to know what i do not want to do so remove those things then you are left with few options that this is something you can do and i was working for uh, go quick at that time uh, which is uh, a d2c enabler uh, they help d2c brands to in different uh, solving different problems so there is some with d2c i realize that d2c is something which i can do right mm. so again i will not do something which is eatables because again it requires fd license this license that license you know uh, mm-hmm. i use certificate etc etc so i thought what else is left and then i saw some a, a big gap in uh, i will not say garment industry but not in fashion industry but garment industry as such clothing industry so there is some gap in clothing industry and i thought i'll try to fulfill this only i'll not compete with anyone so people ask me are you competing with the xyz not at all you know i am sitting in a gold mine right now we are sitting in among 140 crore people you know and and where in middle class is exploding so i'll have my own market i'll i'll have my own market i'll not create a market you know market is already there as an as you know when when mobile phones were introduced not that people were taught how to use a mobile phone people were there mobile phone was introduced and got consumed very easily price was the factor you know you may abuse reliance as much you want but reliance taught you how to use a mobile phone back in 2001 uh, 2001 when the reliance G- mobile not jio the mm-hmm. reliance mobile mm-hmm. you know actual 499 yeah, yeah. that that came so it taught you how to use a mobile phone and then mobile phone evolved same ways i want to i i saw a gap i want to fulfill that gap and if i fulfill that gap that gap is huge huge is okay and no we'll one can fulfill the gap you know a single brand cannot fulfill that that gap so i do not have competition i do not see snitch as my competition i do not see sold show as my competition i do not see zara or hnm as a competition but yeah, i learned a lot from zara and hnm for sure okay. a lot okay yeah, i okay. spent a lot of time with zara hnm factories i learned how they work i learned their mm-hmm. you know habits i learned their strategies so i'll be mm-hmm. implementing those in coming days great great so so we'll we'll get to the details of your okay. And, you know detailed narrative uh, siddharth so one observation that i made is you try to stay away from a set of segments or industries rather technology you gave your reasons and uh, food you gave your reasons so one commonality i see is you want to stay away from government <laughs> in terms of that could be regulations or you know you know their involvement in authorizing or certifications you want to minimize yeah, yeah. that yeah. so even in technology as well so for somebody who's listening to this you know predominantly who who want to try out different apps softwares and all so would you recommend them to pursue that or is there yeah, a red flag that they need that they need to watch out for from no, your point of view no absolutely they need to uh, see first of all i'm not that brainy honestly speaking you know god gave me a very very limited brain so uh, that's the first job. first first thing yes the second thing is everyone should try it but this is the time this is right now government is regulating everything i'm sure within 2 3 months regulations will be in place and then you know what to do how to you know keep regulations in mind and then move ahead mm-hmm. uh you know uh, if you see adani ambani they all are doing business right mm-hmm. pure play business adani mm-hmm. if i tell you he is just doing business no no startup whatsoever you know he yesterday he built a, a entire city which is five times larger than paris you know for renew- renewable energies similarly you know 
few years, couple of years back, he acquired all the cement companies, knowing that India will be developing, so cement will be required. So let me buy all the cement companies. Simple strategy, nothing. No, he got all the cement companies, ACC, this, that, everything. Now buy whosoever is buying a tender or winning a tender, they'll have to use Adani cement. Simply, do whatever. So yeah. once you have regulations in place, of course you should always. Uh, because without technology, see our lives, technology makes our lives easy. Hmm. So anyone who is pursuing, yeah. who has dream in technology, this is my own pers personal, personal observation. This is my own personal hmm. thing that I had no intention to do or enter into tech side hmm. because I do not have that kind of capital. I do not have that kind of uh, resources. I do not have that kind of connections. You know, you need a connections, you know, every, you need an entire ecosystem to build a ecosystem. Okay. So Perisic, you know, we already need to have that. Uh, you know, kind of people around you, techies around you, your friends, the kind of discussions you are having with your friends, it's all related to technology. And that's where your, you know, ideas mature and a startup is born. Got I do not have that kind of environment with me. Got it. So, so are you suggesting that if one wants to take a shot at some kind of tech idea, is it a must have to have a ecosystem like you defined? The people around yeah, them, the capital no, or the funding absolutely. sources? See, discussions, until unless you're not having discussions, I'll tell you, sit till 10th, I was in a, or till schooling, I was in a government school, right? The only thing we discussed was movies, let's bunk call school, go to movie, let's go to a dam, let's, you know, take shower, bunk school. I'm from Dehradun, you know, we had a lot of rivers there, a lot of small, small dams also. So bunking school, going to rivers, taking, you know, shower there and not shower, I mean, swimming there and then coming back home, telling parents, you know, we had fun. That's the discussion we had with our friends. Hmm. Then when I came to Delhi, I saw that people were actually preparing for IES and IPS, right? Civil services. Mm, yeah. Their discussion was different. Then my discussion also was different. History, you know, geography, civil, all those things. And then, you know, when I joined PayU in 2013-14, the discussion changed completely. Now we're talking technology, you know, mm. payments, how, you know, a downtime notification, payment is failing, why payment is failing, why this is happening, technology, how technology can improve. Now your discussion is changing completely. So from a school bunking student to someone who is talking technology, and I'm a simplest graduate. That's why my friends called me simplest graduate because I did my graduation in arts, right? So uh, someone talking technology, you know, that's a transition. And I realized that, you know, when, when we made those kind of friends, I started talking technology. I gave TikTok idea to my friends at least nine years ago, mm. nine or 10 years ago. Okay. Let's, let's make TikTok, not TikTok, some mm. platform like TikTok. And then TikTok became a billion dollar company. I was like, see, I told you this idea. How, how did you, know, you pitch that like, idea? How did you pitch that idea nine years back, nine, 10 years back? It just came to your my friends mind. or somebody. No, no. Yeah. yeah I'm I mean, saying, let's of course, I was your friend. friend. Okay. I was your friend nine, 10 years back. How did you huh. uh, spell out that idea to me? Yeah, okay. So something like this, you know, uh, you know, you should have an, an app. Uh, for small video content. So from the front side, he said, but we have uh, YouTube for it. I said, yeah, YouTube is there. You know, people do not uh, go to YouTube to watch a uh, content. They go there to listen to music. Uh, mm. Eight, nine, ten years back, people didn't open, you know, YouTube for content, right? It, mm. Now people open, you know, uh, YouTube for everything, for short videos and everything. But nine, ten years back, it was so. He said, "No, but we have a video editing platform." I said, "No, no, no. You know, a short video, you know, thirty seconds to one minute videos, wherein people can actually showcase the talent. You know, if someone is a comedian, he's show, showcasing a small thirty seconds or a one minute clip to you know, uh, making people laugh or smile." Hmm. So he said, "No, it's a bad idea. You know, it would work and this and that." And you know, but you know what TikTok did, right? But uh, but Siddharth, that, why did you think at that point in time that for somebody to demonstrate an idea instead of a full length video? of let's say one minute, so I, minute, three minutes for the full song. Why did 30 minutes or short form video appeal to you back then? So I come from a musician's family, right? Uh -huh. So I played tabla also, my mother is a classical vocalist. So, oh. so classical music is in my blood, kind of in my, in my blood. And I know that, you know, to showcase my skills, hmm. you know, I need 30 seconds to showcase, showcase my skills. That's it. It's not that. You know, first, first 30 seconds are enough to showcase your skills. So that's why whenever we play Tabla, we play the best of the, you know, Tukhda and, you know, Kaida in first 30 seconds. So that audience actually start listening. If I start with a boring, you know, uh, a, you know, uh, a piece, audience will not listen to it. So if you watch, say, Zakir Hussain or any other, you know, renowned Tabla player, they would start with, you know, Dhundraka first, you know, and then they will, you know, show the Laikari and all those things. 
mm. which is slightly boring which only those who understand music will understand but the rest will not understand so i realized that you know that 30 seconds and even for a interview you know if you go for a job interview your first 30 second to 1 minute is the time when you leave all the impression that you know that statement first impression is the last impression you know so mm. i realized that those 30 seconds of 1 minute initially that will showcase your talent and then people will come to watch your more uh, videos so even uh, zakir khan the comic comic stand up comic mm. you see he started with short content na yeah of yeah. course no, he no, absolutely now, absolutely makes sense yeah the way you mask your audience short, Yeah, yeah sorry sorry so those that because people don't have time to watch videos right even tv ads even if it's for one minute two minutes people skip tv ads they don't watch tv ads because there's no content it's a repeat content right hmm. if it's a new ad they may watch it once twice hmm. but if it's a repeat ad they will not watch it so hmm. short content uh, the advantage of short content is you can actually bring in new content every day hmm. and you can bring in the followers also at the same time and this i'm talking about eight nine years 10 years back yeah 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 and it worked I'm, you know in today's yeah. environment it worked you know people are working on it everyone is working yeah. on short content yeah yeah i i i'm actually glad to know your musical uh, music related background you know in in this question you know that's my actual interest you know to break down the mechanics of how did somebody come up with that idea not just the idea but what inspired that thought you know probably that is where uh, people who are listening to this can also actually you know trace back or do some changes to upgrade let me, their let ecosystem. me give you one more let me give you one more idea and people from andhra pradesh because andhra is known for producing techies uh-huh. let me give you one more idea you know Please have a ahead. app which will have a radio channels okay uh, uh-huh. so for example siddharth day will have a radio channel frequency say 91.9 something like that mm. 9, 9192 something okay mm. now this is my own frequency Now I'll upload my content in this frequency, right? Mm. Uh, it could be vocals, it could be comic, it could be anything, right? Mm. Now I'll start, and this is completely audio. Again, okay. You don't have to watch anything; it's completely audio. And from there, how to monetize it? Now Siddharth is a person who wants to, uh, who is throwing a birthday party at his place, mm. and uh, he wants to invite a couple of singers and musicians. So this okay. platform will also bring in those musicians from those channels. Mm. Yeah, this person liked your music. He liked your content. He liked your singing. You know, come to this place and you know perform for some some time or a restaurant. You know, weekend restaurant. Who wants to invite some musicians? They can bring in. Now, channel will have followers. You no, know, people will subscribe to those channels. You know, and uh, you can monetize it easily by bringing these uh, fine art performers because India right now is only producing. engineers doctors everyone but it also produces fine arts musicians and you know uh, uh, artists who do not have that kind of uh, opportunity to earn money from their uh, you know talent so God. this way you can actually have a platform wherein you are bringing all the fine artists and you can make it visual also but it requires a lot of capital it requires a lot of uh, technology so keep it so, from so, one side huh. start from audio bring into video Related to arts, drawing, painting, everywhere. You know, even magicians. You can bring in magicians also who will show thirty seconds, one video, one minute video there. Got it. So it's all about how to create a channel, have a dedicated channel. Sidhar can say, "I have a channel of my own." You know, ninety-one point one on this particular platform. Yeah. Gives a sense Got of pride, it. right? It very easily tells you that. Uh, Acha, you want to listen to my music? Uh, go to this app. Uh, you know, click to ninety-one point one, and you can listen to my ninety-one point one. Is just a number which is coming to my mind. I'm not promoting any. Any, yeah, any got it, got it. Right understood, now. understood. So, Siddhar, so, let me be your friend. Nine or ten years back, who had put down your idea, okay, for a moment, you know, just for fun. Hmm. So, this is in a way already there in terms of our podcast itself can go into an audio form, right? And everybody, just like the number that that you said, as a radio frequency, can have their Insta channel, Instagram account, or a YouTube account, or a Spotify, or whichever uh, the media now they want to. So, either. even for the video format they need not have such kind of huge investments except a smartphone and an internet mm-hmm. connection so why what is what is the scope for your idea under this environment so like i said uh, when i thought about that idea 8 hmm. 9 years back hmm. i thought about it because i am a musician hmm. and i saw that there are lot of musicians lot of artists who are actually uh, good artists but hmm. just performing for few thousand rupees at a pub Hmm. Now, personally, I cannot see a hmm. classical musician singing at a pub. 
Right. You know, pub is a different place altogether. People go there to drink, and classical music is something you know which 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 we worship. Hmm. You know? So I thought there should be something like this, hmm. and that's why this idea came into my mind. Of course, ideas evolve, right? Oh. Like I said, when you discuss with people, and you need an approval from your friend, of course. Yep. If you're discussing, if we two are discussing, I need an approval. Oh, yeah, idea. This is a good idea, right? Mm-hmm. And then you say, "Acha, can we do this also in this?" And I say, "Yeah, it's a good idea." So when I you disagree brainstorm, there, but but I'll come back. Please go mm-hmm. ahead. Let's say uh, approval is needed. Okay. Approval, of course, is needed. Uh, if someone had given me an approval nine years back, I would have made a, mm-hmm. a TikTok then only. Uh-huh. But he disapproved it then and there. Mm-hmm. Isn't a bad idea. Mm-hmm. So. like minded people like you said is it important to have like minded people around you yes of course you need to have like minded people around you who can mm. brainstorm with you who can sit with you who can think on similar lines and give you idea also okay who can improve your idea now you may have an idea it requires improvement it requires polishing that will come from brainstorming that will come from similar minds that will come from okay. similar thoughts and that's why a good friend circle is very very important okay okay so this radio frequency wala thought Hmm. can be further refined with a good ecosystem is your thought at this point yeah, in time totally okay. this is just a broader idea which i gave you hmm. okay. it can okay. be a million billion dollar idea after you know 5 years okay you okay. have no people are moving from video now i'll tell you why because people do not have time uh-huh. but but they have an audio option for that as well they have i'm not saying they don't have but uh-huh. only audio option they do not have okay you no know, if I'm not saying Spotify and all those things. They are hmm. completely different platforms. You know, hmm. Spotify. You have different? artists coming in. I'm sorry. How are they different? Let's say if we host, we both host the same podcast in an audio channel? format. Do you? Can I go on Spotify and create my own channel? Ha! Huh. You your account itself becomes a channel, right? Just like no, no. Andhra Podcaster is an account or a channel on YouTube. Okay. So I see your so think of a solution. Hmm. Think of a even basic guy. Okay. Who who knows how to listen to uh, uh, say uh, 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 you're talking about YouTube feature phones or, and... or Spotify? Who knows how to search say uh, uh, Arjit Singh and starts listening to songs? Okay. Yeah. But change this to a completely different platform when mm. people go and select a channel, say mm. under say uh, Western music. I have hundred channels. I listen to one channel. I in thirty seconds I get to know whether I should be listening to this channel or not. Then I go to the next channel, and similarly, when I know that this channel is something which I want to listen to every day, mm. this used to do earlier. There was few platforms. I I am forgetting those names. It used mm. to be there long back when internet actually had just come. So I should g- have that freedom to change the channels just by clicking the button mm. without searching a name. Mm. and under those channels then i subscribe to the channel and start listening to it okay i get okay. to know about the details slightly yeah. different from what spotify or any other platform is god i'll not press further because i don't want to kill innovation <laughs> so people are listening so this can see this can this can evolve you can always have your own ideas you can have uh-huh. like i said if someone is thinking on the similar lines and he is mm-hmm. giving you some similar ideas then this idea would evolve sure. questions like you asked you asked a question about spotify there would be more questions people asking you know there would be more ideas coming in and yeah, then sure, the idea sure. will mature and then a person will execute it got it. sure sure so siddharth you know out of all the industries you know you gave a certain reasoning about um, you know why uh, why not it and why not food and so on but why did you of course there are other industries which doesn't need lot of certifications or regulations okay let's say why not stationery or plastics or whatever i'm just taking out some examples mm-hmm. okay plastic uh, from an environment point of view yeah i think there would be some uh, you know definitely regulations but let's say gaming or whatever you know i'm just take for an example sake why did you only choose fashion and apparel industry which is already a red ocean okay and what is that blue ocean did you identify i want you to elaborate though you spoke you threw some light in the beginning statement i want you to elaborate on what is the blue ocean that you saw i might be color blind but to me this is already a red ocean so what's yeah. the blue ocean that you saw Okay, so first of all, see uh, if you look at it, the apparel bit industry, the organized mm. apparel industry is around twenty-five billion as of today, Indian market, mm. right? Mm. And it is exploding. Mm. Now, when I used to go to market, huh. or exploding, brand, can you just uh, also point out some indicators which so people from that? lower middle class to middle class or poor class to middle class? This mm. movement is huge and fast, very fast. Mm. 
you know around 5 5 and a half crore people were added in pf were uh, you know added into pf accounts in the last 7 8 years it's mm. a big number i mean we're talking about of entire france right mm. only pf accounts 5 crore right so this movement is huge this movement is rapid now haters may say that no 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 india still is a very poor country yes that's because we have 140 crore right if you take out the poor Uh, population number there will be 10 crore 15 crore big number right hmm. but this movement from lower middle class to middle class and middle class to upper middle class this is very rapid very fast and okay. credit should go to startups in india hmm. credit should go to fdi uh, mm-hmm. and education of course so when i say but anyone who is earning 40 45 000 rupees in a month cannot afford to buy 10 zara or 10 uh, Say mango every month, every quarter, or every six months. They cannot. Mm. You know, my salary is forty thousand. How can I spend ten thousand rupees only on clothing? Mm. And I am going to office every day. I need variety, mm. and I also want quality. Right. Mm. So when I used to go to market to buy clothes for myself, mm. the first thing I used to see is the composition, composition of the fabric which I am wearing. Okay. Indians do not see the composition. Mm. Even Why? if you go to Zara, if they, that's the mindset, price? no, no. So if we go to say Zara or H and M or or uh, any other brand, Indian domestic mm-hmm. brand, uh, we may end up buying a polyester shirt, which is mm-hmm. for thousand rupees, right? Because it is looking good. The looks are nice. The polyester will give you very good looks because it's shiny. Uh, it's low maintenance. You don't have to iron it. You know, you just wash it, wear it. It's ready to wear, right? But is it? Good for your skin? Is it good for the uh, environment? Is it good for the uh, you know in in hot hot weather? No. Yeah, all knows. Yeah. Absolutely not. Mm. Right? And polyester okay. will remain on earth forever. You can't destroy polyester, right? But polyester is cheap. Mm. Indians still spend money in buying cheap polyester by paying five hundred six hundred rupees. So I thought this is the gap which we have. Mm. We do not have options to buy a quality fabric. Quality clothing at an affordable price. I'm not saying there are no, no options. There are options, mm. but options are less. Everyone is trying to target that premium. Everyone is try, trying to target that you know single design, which is over drop shoulder, oversized T-shirt, you know all those things. No one is talking about uh, the composition of the fabric. You know mm. they say 100% cotton. I'm not saying it's not 100% cotton, but is it the emphasis? No. Is the pricing around 500, 600 rupees? No. Goes up to 900 rupees, 1000 rupees, right? That's not affordable, and you can't wear those kind of fabric in 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 at work also, or the, those kind of t-shirt at work also. So that's when I thought I'll bring in a a design or a pattern which is hundred percent cotton, which would be fabric centric. Now this t-shirt which I'm wearing, it is a organic cotton. Right? Mm. You burn it, you'll find ashes only. The buttons are not but cotton, of course. This is metal on top. Then you have two buttons here. These are not cotton, but fabric completely is cotton. It is black in color. If I go in sun also, mm. it is comfortable. It. it doesn't give me. Uh, I'm sitting right now. I'm sitting in 40 degrees centigrade. Only one for fan is working. Hmm. Uh, nothing else. I do not have. Do not have an AC which is working right now. So it it is giving that comfort. So the comfort fabric are two things which people want these days. People are more uh, like I said, educated. Also, they do not want to. They only want to spend money where they think it's worth it. Hmm. So today people do not know my brand, but after two years for sure people will know my brand. People will buy from me because I will improve. People okay. will give me feedback because I call my customers personally, asking what what is that one thing you didn't like about the T-shirt. They tell me. That's good. I take good those feedback. Good. I'll implement it. People also ask me why only say ten twelve items for men and women. Why not more? So for more unit capital, more unit capital. I do not have that kind of capital with me. But second part is I want people. I have one T-shirt one. Item for every Indian, even today. One mm. hai mere pas. One T-shirt I surely have. I want people to buy that one T-shirt from me. Mm. Feel the fabric, feel the cotton, feel the comfort. Tell me what you didn't like. Of course, you'll give me ideas that you like this T-shirt. Tell me what you didn't like. What you didn't like is something which I'll implement in my next production, God. and then I'll improve it, and then I keep imp- improving it. One day after say eight, nine, ten months or one year, I'll have a product which would be mm. pitch perfect. Absolutely perfect, and the pricing would be same. Understood. So, so the, what? 
so the ocean ahead, you're talking about the blue ocean you're talking about so i'll tell you the blue ocean the blue ocean still buy from the local market they still buy from the open markets they still do not buy from uh, you know zara or h&m because they cannot afford it okay zara and h&m could be a very cheap brand in outside india but in india it's still a premium brand uh-huh. Uh-huh. fair enough fair enough siddharth so 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 my understanding is at an industry level the favorable conditions are you know broadly at an economy level people are transitioning from lower to uh, you know middle class middle class to upper middle class at a faster pace yeah. so that indicates that the disposable income levels are appreciating for yeah. for a value proposition that you are thinking about and at a micro level your strategy is to uh, target that customers who want variety quality at an affordable price hmm. right uh, and i i could also see that this is uh, with the way you are approaching with organic cotton and all this is definitely not uh, your kind of moving away from polyester and becoming eco friendly and all okay so it definitely appeals to educated and people who are working and people who start to think about be- being more conscious for sure and i have still set of reservations or my own doubts in terms of the typical 40000 earner okay mm. will prefer to go to a reliance or a you know or a big bazaar or you know that kind of stores you know mm. uh, where it where the 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 competition is on price okay under the name of you know affordable as well as quality clothing and all the only difference i could see is your organic one you know if if it burns it only remains uh, you know uh, i'll jump into their the space ranches. i'll enter how, their how? space could you could you please elaborate because what yeah. why would because reliances of the world are coming with lot of assortment hmm. on the other hand you are coming uh, into the market with limited stock i understand maybe today it would be one or two or three skus but going forward the collection would be more yeah but even today or going forward why should a typical reliance buyer should yeah. turn towards you and listen to your product so by that time i'll be i'll be trying to sell that one t-shirt to that consumer who mm-hmm. goes to reliance mm-hmm. or to any other you know affordable brand right and i will tell them to just check the quality differentiate between the two mm-hmm. right there are few specific fabrics which india doesn't produce today for example mm-hmm. bamboo yeah sorry bamboo Bamb- fabric bamboo bamboo oh. bamboo slab bamboo cotton Okay. these india do not produce why because till 2017 bamboo was considered as a tree hmm. Hmm. during congress rule bamboo was hmm. put in the tree category and cutting bamboo was illegal ah, okay. in 2017 pm modi they he hmm. put bamboo into a grass category hmm. and now we are cutting the grass okay. but we do not have the infrastructure to make cotton out of bamboo got it okay right so my first fabric they came from bangladesh hmm okay okay polyester is being imported from china because china is ma- master of uh, polyester hmm yeah. similarly bangladesh is master of cotton yeah. so my first import came from bangladesh i have bamboo fabric with me wear it if it will give you a different feel altogether God, simple 600 rupees t-shirt God. i challenge you i guarantee you that you hmm. cannot find that t-shirt anywhere in any brand in india understood so so you are actually breaking the market or asking the typical reliance buyer to turn towards you because you are not going to disrupt their budget but you are going to bring in a superior quality cotton through bamboo fabric so yeah, that's yeah. a unique selling proposition yeah yeah totally understood. and and quality doesn't only mean fabric quality also means mm-hmm. stitching i'll give i'll give you a small uh, uh, you know example of the polo t-shirt i'm wearing any polo t-shirt which you have at a home any polo t-shirt you can bring it out the collars will start folding like this yeah like i this. hate that i hate that you take any polo t-shirt any expensive to expensive right They try do, to fold yeah. this polo t-shirt the way you want do it it will not it will not it's a simple simple idea so it's just not about the fabric it's all about the how you're stitching it the you know how the uh, it's being made it's a it's a placket uh if you see it's a placket here three button placket it's a civil, uh, steel button here right okay. so everything combined is quality someone you know in my post today commented uh price is steep this is a 1000 rupees polo t-shirt right and uh, he commented that price is steep mm-hmm. i just commented you know steep question mark organic 100% organic cotton mm-hmm. is it steep yeah. you know it cannot be yeah. 
uh, average, I think uh, any mid-sized brand sell a polo t-shirt for 1200 rupees. Hmm. I'm getting, getting, charging you 1000 rupees for this. Right? right? You tell me if it's expensive, I'll even, you know, issue a coupon code hmm. to give you a 20% extra dis- discount. You know, you take it, take it, use it. I don't want to earn money right now. I just want your feedback so that I can improve. I got a feedback on this t-shirt that, uh, and this guy is from Cham- uh, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Mm. This guy is six feet two inch tall, right? He ordered a large size. Of course, he's six feet tall too. And he said, you know, it's slightly, it could be slightly longer. Mm. I said, sure. Next time I'll increase the size by one centimeter. Mm. Because India doesn't have a size chart right now. We have three, four cha- size charges, which goes globally. Yeah. Uh, UK, US, Europe, and Asia. That's the global size. So I have to either follow Asia size or I have to follow US size or Europe size. And also Siddharth, Asia, maybe in even in Asia, you have a lot of variety all the way from exactly. Thai. <laughs> First time ever India is coming up with its own size. Hmm. That would be in May. So May onwards, we'll have a size chart for India. You hmm. can use it. Excellent. But for right now, I have to either use and that's why we are talking about 140 crore population. Now, Chinese people. Uh, their size, shape is almost similar, almost similar, right? In India, it is absolutely different. Yep. You go to Punjab, you have six, six and a half feet. You go to Haryana, you have six, six and a half feet. You go to UP, you have again size reduced. You go to Himachal, Uttarakhand, you have short heighted you know, pahadis. You go to South Tamil Nadu, you have uh, or, or Kerala, you have slightly skinny people, but tall, you know, and uh, they have a different physique altogether. They have a different geography altogether. Yeah. So, how can you solve this? Size is a problem. And that's why I want to, you know, send this to everyone, figure out ki how do I improve it? How do I come to a middle ground somewhere? It is fitting Punjab, Haryana as well, and Tamil Nadu, Chennai, and Andhra as well. You know, most of the basketball players from India or volleyball players from India are from Kerala and Tamil Nadu and Andhra also. They're tall, right? But they're not bulky. They're fit. So they don't need a double XL size. They need a double exercise for length, for arm length, but they don't need a double exercise for shoulders. So you have to solve it and we will solve it. Got it. Yeah, I think that's and, a very complex. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And if you see, there are more youth centric brands who are actually targeting youth. What they're doing is mm. oversized t shirts. Now, oversized t shirts solve that problem completely. Mm. Completely. <laughs> you know, you have a pot belly or, or you have a beer belly, you wear an oversized t-shirt, you are skinny, Everything. you wear an oversized t-shirt, you are bulky, you wear an oversized t-shirt. That's all your problem. Yeah. So easy. But we don't want to do that. We, want, we don't want to be a youth centric brand. We don't want to be a, a, a you know, a, a, a brand which is uh, focusing Gen Z. Uh, mm. We don't. We want to cater to everyone. We have customers buying from GK. I don't know whether you know Greta Kailash or not. GK and uh, New Friends Colony. And they mm. buy in. It's their uh, Priyanka Gandhi lives in uh, New Friends Colony. Aha, uh-huh. okay, okay. So now you know what is New Friends Colony, right? So, <laughs> yeah. So, so we have pe- buyers from there and they gave me very good feedback. She's a female buyer of hers. They gave me very good feedback. Excellent. Initially, she said, ah, this, you could improve this, you could improve that. Hmm. But later, she called me saying that, you know, this is so perfect. I just really wow. love it. Now she's waiting for me to bring in more products. We have more customers, founder of a fintech company. He keeps buying for his wife. Okay. Now he has okay. consumed all of the t-shirts which we have for women. All of them. Good. Right. <laughs> mm. I even issued a special coupon to him. You keep this coupon code. Every time you buy, you apply this coupon code. So then you get extra discount. So we get uh, improvement feedbacks, which we want to implement. Mm. And we want to enter that space where Reliance Trends or you know any other uh, affordable brand is playing. Mm. And we will enter that space. Now they can, they are a digital brand, uh, sorry, they are a physical brand. We want to be a digital brand. Got it, got it. And, and fully digital, no no offline at all. As of now, no. We don't have capital. Mm. Yeah, yeah, understand. Okay. And and what does this uh, Humberto mean? Uh, uh, so it's a the... proper noun. It's a proper noun. Uh, so, and it's a European name. So, yeah, I saw and it's a common brands. name in, it's a common name in Spain. And some Mexico Italy. also I get. Yeah, yeah, Spain, some Spanish Mexico. relation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. So it's a common in Spain, uh, Portugal, and in uh, to some extent in France also, but not France, but Italy. And fashion actually comes from these this region. Hmm. Global fashion comes from this region: Spain, right. France, uh, Italy, uh, Portugal. You know this, 
and they the kind of colors they use the kind of fashion they use it's really really good mm-hmm. uh, even inditex which is zara okay zara is a yeah. spanish brand spain okay. spain right mm-hmm. so now it would be easier for me to go global mm-hmm. with this name what exactly. if i had a... that was my question but you were making for india right so <laughs> why did you pick a name but it resonated so, that you so, want to sound fashion also it, no, it has to sound fashion it has to be easy to pronounce mm. i can't have a name something like uh, paper bag now the, i have a paper bag here so i just said paper bag mm-hmm. or something like you know yantram uh, you know a difficult name to, i i my name is siddharth right okay. Okay. whenever i meet a you know american or a or a european he would always call me siddart mm. because they don't have you know the, they only have 26 the, alphabets they only have yeah. 26 alphabets in english they can't pronounce it now we have 44 plus 12 so we can pronounce siddharth mm. rishi you know those difficult words as well so i was very sure that i did not have to keep a indian or a hindi name because it would be difficult for outside indians to pronounce it got it so it has to be very easy easy to pronounce it should come out of your mouth easily humble to okay. it's coming out of your mouth so easily see humble to okay. zara okay. <laughs> all the large brands actually come out of your mouth very easily yeah. you don't have except to the ba- except the balance yaga i guess <laughs> that is <laughs> too complex to <laughs> pronounce <laughs> yeah yeah no of course uh, since they have capital so they have become a brand but mm. uh, all the big brands are easy to pronounce right right so so sindar let me ask you you know uh, fashion and garments and these industries are prone with longer lead time challenges and all and on the other hand your customer preferences change rapidly while i understand that you are trying to fix a set of skus which are very very certain and repeatable which will make you prone to design more of blacks or whites which becomes as a regular uh, you know light option. colors light light colors yes ha huh. so did you solve something on on one 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 master stroke i saw is with your bamboo fabric you know the way you explained that till 2017 it is illegal and after that it is considered to be a grass which can be cut that's a master stroke and the value proposition is so convincing okay on the other hand from a operations and production side these industries are prone to longer lead times and all as well as the preferences keep changing season by season so the you'll have to sitting today in summer you'll have to actually forecast for upcoming rainy season or the winter season okay so how did you crack that because that's that's going to cost you a lot in terms of inventory and the chance the risk of failure is also huge yeah how did so, you mitigate uh, that uh, yeah to answer that question uh, india is a hot place overall india is a hot country right uh, the colder regions are cold for very specific period of time 2 3 months delhi chandigarh haryana punjab for 2 3 months they are cold and again it's hot right so for 2 3 months i do not want to invest too much of money focusing on winter wear of course we want to do it we want to do it we will be bringing winter wear as well but we will not be focusing completely on winter wear and you know putting all our money into winter wear we may okay. keep it uh, or call it a lean period uh, because people from southern india or western india may keep buying hmm. people from northern india will not buy for a, for that particular period of time but for them also we will bring small quantity uh winter wear as well we will bring but yeah we will not be bringing hugely uh a winter wear uh, articles uh, you know which will fill our uh, understood uh, so so you are picking your want to do that so you are picking your battle only to fight during non winter periods see non winter period okay to be lean non winter period is 9 months right, winter period exactly. is 3 months hmm so today if you ask me i'll not focusing on i'll be not be focusing on winter period at all at all after 2 years yes once we have capital in our pocket we will bring see once you're a brand huh. it's easy to sell your product today i'm not a brand today people do not know humberto right Got tomorrow it. they may not they may know humberto they may come to humberto during winters and buy hmm. our product and that time is at least 2 years away ha huh. so so before i want to ask you how uh, what are your plans to become a brand but before that i want to ask you siddhat you know you are taking care of lead time problem by ensuring that you only play for the remaining 9 months other than the 3 months and choosing to be lean and banking on the other regions that is an one lean strategy i would say and the other one on the preferences part 
I'm slightly surprised that you're only calling out two seasons, winter and the non-winter. Mm. But when we when it comes to clothing, you know, different seasons take in the take the form of festivals also. Te- seasons take the form of different occasions in their life also. Yeah, yeah. So so how how did you go about that? So we call ourselves a ageless brand. Okay, can you elaborate so on that? So ageless by ageless, so I despite mean despite seasons, festivals, and all. Yeah, so you can actually wear it in uh, not se- not festival. Hmm. So we don't target fest- festivals at all. We will okay. not be targeting festivals at all. Why is that? Siddharth, I see a slight. Okay, I'll wait for you to connect back. I think there is a. lag in the internet signal probably at siddharth and i guess no problem ha huh. so so what's the reason for you to not consider festivals was my question see festivals are for 2 3 days right hmm. maximum 5 hmm. days but the spending is huge but the spending yeah. is huge so so uh, honestly speaking why uh, so say for example deepavali right hmm. or dashera people would want to buy a ethnic wear hmm. of course they spend huge but they prefer spending in ethnic wear hmm. they do not spend in casual wear i am purely a casual wear brand okay if it. i enter every space i will surely fail hmm. surely fail so when i when i started this venture i knew what i do not have to do first of first thing first up i do not want to do this <laughs> right and i am a mass i want to become a mass mass brand not a uh, specific brand now if if uh, an ethnic wear brand can become a 100 100, 100 crore brand then of course a mass brand can become a 1000 crore brands the same period of time hmm. so this is the reason why i do not want to do a uh, uh, you know festic centric or festive uh, festival uh, or weather centric clothing is that because organic cotton doesn't support uh, this uh, ethnic wear ethnic. or yeah see we have if you see we have ethnic wear also but that ethnic mm-hmm. wear is also very smart ethnic wear okay. you know uh, and we may bring more variety in the similar similar you know uh, similar category okay which is no, no, which I, is very I, smart i'm not clear on one point here siddharth ki uh, what is the reason for you to discard or not go towards ethnic wear is it because it can't be scaled up to a a mass segment that yeah. you are targeting is that the reason yes okay okay and then but, but hmm. and then when you say people want to spend uh, during festivals in it is the upper middle class and the rich class who wants to spend or who spends uh, during the festival season Mm. not the middle class and the low middle class right? they may have n number of options to go to uh, and spend for ethnic wear as well okay. but i don't want to enter that space at all mm. but but siddharth on the contrary uh, uh, mm. contrasting to this view uh, the margins that how many the, times the, how many times in a month do you wear mm. a festival wear No, no. I I agree, sir. Uh, Siddharth, the, the, I I see your point that you want to be a high frequency brand that n- that wants to be associated with the regular purchase instead of once a while brand. Yeah. Okay, I'm very clear uh, on the, on your strategy there. Mm. But my other question is the margins are relatively lesser uh, compared to uh, you know the ethnic wear or the premium ones. Is, yes. And you you choose that strategy because you need to build a, uh, invest a lot on building a brand to play in ethnic wear or you want to go in a full fledged mass segment only you know what i what want to i want to, i want to i want to occupy 25% of your wardrobe simple value wise or uh, volume wise unit volume wise, wise. now mm-hmm. i cannot do it if i bring in ethnic wear or if i bring in uh, you know uh, uh, festive wear in the in the in it because in your fest, in your wardrobe also you may have only 5% of the ethnic wear you can check mm-hmm. so course, why should i fight I get it yeah why should i fight in that 5% the 95% remaining i have to occupy 25% from that 95% even if i you know occupy 5% of your entire wardrobe from the ethnic wear i will not be able to you know mm-hmm. reach anywhere my okay. target is to you know occupy your 25% of wardrobe which you wear every day which you go to mall which you go to office which you go to uh Uh, shopping you know going for dates going for outing just comfort wear so that is the that is the uh, you know that is the segment which i am targeting okay and and it it is also coming out very clearly that to build a brand in ethnic wear is going to cost a bomb okay in the, in terms of designs or the 
probably celebrities or the influencers that you want to tag up to to appeal to the ethnic wear segment because the bar for ethnic wear would be very high having Honestly said that speaking uh-huh. people are people are very smart these days one of my friend got married very recently not very recently uh-huh. couple of years back uh, and uh, they spent what around a crore rupees in the marriage okay. this guy borrowed a sherwani from his friend he said i just had to wear it one day why should i spend 25 lakh you know 5 lakh rupees on a sherwani Good. They're smart, you know. They're spending on marriage, you know, lavish marriage, car, this, that, DJ. But he borrowed that sherwani from a friend. <laughs> People are getting smart. You have four ethnic wear in your, in your wardrobe. You you keep repeating it. You wear it in Diwali. Then you wear the second one on say Dashera. The third one during the Holi. The fourth one during uh, say Navratri. Only four you're repeating. Right. And after five five six years, you discard them. Mm. Then you buy four more. then your four more remains with you for next four years simple very simple uh i am still surprised how these large ethnic wear brands survive in the market they, they of course they are surviving they're doing good i will not name anyone don't want uh-huh. to get any legal sure. notice from anyone you know so sure. so yeah how they're surviving is a question i i you know how they, i'll tell you how they're surviving yeah that's because 140 that? crore indians mm-hmm. 140 crore is a big number Big number. This is Europe, uh, US, South America, North America, all combined together. Even even in that case, India would be higher than those numbers. Actually, that number looks scary to me. You know why? While while I don't, I'm not trying to be pessimistic here, but yeah. I'll bring a data point. Hmm. Though 140 crores is a very beautiful number for us, hmm. the actual spending capacity lies with three to four percent or five percent max. You know, hmm. when it comes to ethnic wear, okay. Hmm. Because at that price points, this is said now, by now five percent of one. Now five percent of one forty crores. How much? Ha ha. Sure, I get that. You know, <laughs> but, but, but but big number. But you said one forty crores is your base number, but now you are ha. switching to five percent of one forty crore. Ha. So which is the number remains one forty. The number remains one forty. Five percent of one forty is how much? Fifteen crores. Fourteen five is is a sixty. Seven crore. Seven crore. Seven crores. Seven and a half crore. Seven crore is larger than France. France is six crore. Huh. You know so, this. So, so, so huh. please go ahead. Please go ahead. Yeah. So my, my contest is not on the base. Na, um, not on huh. the seven point four seven crore or of one forty crore. Hmm. My uh, challenge is. What kind of number should we bank on for somebody who's looking at uh, you know entering into? I am very sure part. about this. I am very sure about this. Hmm. The the people who are mo- the, first of all smart buyers. Smart buyers are hmm. those who want value for what they wear, hmm. right? I am you are wearing a shirt say Gucci, which is for say twenty five thousand rupees. I have a black Gucci by the way. Hmm. So uh, this is uh, normal shirt, sir. <laughs> no, no, just just give you an example. So, for example, you are wearing a black Gucci, which is for twenty five thousand rupees. Okay, and I am wearing a same shirt hmm. without Gucci logo for eleven hundred rupees. And so, there are people who want that logo here. But if an Indian is buying that, or a middle class or a upper middle class is buying an original Gucci, also half of the people would be thinking, "Ah, uh, first copy." Hmm. This is a first copy, you know, <laughs> because. They, That's the psyche. Yeah, yeah, I get that, and I am so, guilty of that too. <laughs> yeah, so half of the India is wearing a Gucci logo, first copy. Five percent are wearing original. Uh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Uh huh. Go ahead, go ahead. Five percent are wearing original. Even although five percent not wearing original, but say five percent are wearing original. But eighty percent of the janta is thinking that those five percent are actually wearing the first copy. So why should I give? Why should I tell you that you are wearing a first copy? You should wear a eleven rupees shirt, and people are also smart enough to wear a eleven rupees shirt, which is a mid-size brand, quality similar, looks similar, and fashion similar. One year I'll wear it, next year I'll discard it because black shirt anyways will bleed. The colors right. will bleed. Black shirt Correct. has to bleed. Blue, navy blue, black. It will, will bleed. Will. You know, irrespective Dark. which brand you are wearing, because yeah. that's how black fabric is made. You put okay. color on it, and then boil it at ten thousand degrees centigrade, and you put color inside it. But that color, cotton cannot absorb colors. Yeah. Cotton cannot. It will discard the colors. That's the beauty of cotton. Yeah. So after two years, you are anyways have to discard this Gucci which you purchased for twenty five thousand rupees. Why do you want to spend twenty five thousand rupees on Gucci? Why, uh, you know, uh, Zara or I'm not naming Humberto because you know that would be obvious. Buy any other brand for eleven hundred rupees. Zara although would charge you two thousand two hundred five thousand rupees for it, 
but you should have that option yeah so I, i'm actually guilty of calling people first copies when i see these brands and all you know i'm part of those friends who fancy calling thing, giving name my names. colleague my colleague if she is bringing a big versace bag with her what do i call it by default i'll call it a first copy yeah. because that cost 2 lakh rupees in the market even if she has spent 2 lakh rupees on that bag even if i ask where did you buy it from oh i got it from x brand brand store i was at, i was in dubai last year you know i went to the dubai and there was an airport i saw this brand and i brought it from there ab i am confused whether she really bought it from dubai or she bought it from lajpat nagar or, or gk <laughs> first copy yeah so yeah. If, after spending money also people have that uh, you know psyche that this is the first copy so that okay. this this where i i and people like me come in that i will give you a quality uh, maybe after 2 years i'll reach that gucci quality also hmm. you know hmm. uh, the the quality difference is of course the stitching uh, the qc which they do of every shirt which they prepare you know wow. that's the cost wow. what is the difference between your shirt and a gucci shirt The only difference is they have done the QC of entire shirt. They spent hmm. 15 minutes on that particular shirt which you are wearing right now, and that person yeah. who has spent 15 minutes has a cost. Right. You know, right. stitching has a cost, so they check everything. Even if even a single thread will not come out of a shirt. Right. Right. Makes sense. You know, all the Gucci buyers and all the you know luxury brand buyers don't get offended. We are just yeah, yeah don't get offended. Like yeah, typical, yeah. typical Indians. Okay. Yeah. yeah totally. Ignore this. This is on a lighter note. okay so so uh, so uh, sidat how are you going to solve for you know like you said producing like uh, a gucci brand quality okay are you going to crack that with economies of scale or other than any other strategies see the, first of all we need to understand that a brand is becomes a brand not by doing marketing that's a straight no you elaborate on that yeah so any uh, brand which become a brand didn't focus on marketing when we, they were building the brand hmm. they may be doing they do maybe doing marketing today when they have become a brand okay. so so when 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 uh, vodafone came to india you know they hmm. painted the entire country red i don't know how young or old you were at the time i think i'm talking about 2007 uh, 2006 67 hachisan sr was acquired by uh, right right uh-huh. Uh-huh. 7 8 yeah. ki baat hai so Vodafone came to India. They painted entire country red. Wherever you see, you see Vodafone red, 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 red. They marketed it like anything. And at the same time, Airtel also had to spend 500 crore rupees only in marketing. You know why? To tell the world that we are also there. Vodafone has come in good, but we are also still there. By the time they were brands, but could someone else have done it in similar fashion? No. So a brand uh, which is doing marketing, they are doing marketing because they have become brands. a brand will only become brand once you have once your customers have faith in it one buyer a single buyer who is buying from you should tell world that you know i am wearing this this is an affordable i am getting a comfort all right you know this word of mouth has to increase and that's why i give a specific coupon to my repeat buyers anyone who is coming to my platform for the second time who purchased my product for the second time gets a coupon from me on an email that this is the coupon for you Why? not because i want him to buy again because huh. now this coupon is for his family and friends as well it has no validity it is not a single time use coupon hmm. you can use okay. it n number of times so wow. you can this customer can give this coupon and, and my competition can copy this idea yaar matlab i have no problem in uh, in sharing my ideas with my competition uh, competition copies lot of things a large brand copied one of my product very recently No, I so, saw that on your LinkedIn post. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw I that. I can name that, you know, but don't want to get a legal notice from them. But you know, and I'm talking but about global brand. You know, no, Siddharth, why would you be sued for that? Because they have copied, right? You have that evidence. I'm just, you know, you do not know what the thought. See, large brands actually have access to legal as well. See, hmm. to make our life difficult. Any large or a or a large brand or a big person, famous person, they have access to law. a poor person like me do not have access to law you know i'll have to hire a lawyer to respond to those queries and that's why i'm not scared of anyone just that i use my words pretty carefully so that no one can send me legal notices on any any anything Makes so yeah so they copy it and they can my my customers can uh, my competition copy this idea as well that you know i give a specific coupon to the customer so that mm. this customer can actually give this coupon to his near and dear ones that you know this is a good t-shirt you will get a 15% discount edition discount and no rd when keep buying you know i got this t-shirt 
Now, this is the strategy which I want to adopt for my customers. I'm not saying we will not do marketing, mm. but we will not spend, we will not burn money like any other brand burn. Mm. Okay. I've seen brands spending 10 crore rupees in marketing and doing two and a half lakh rupees revenue in a month. Can you beat that? And I'm, wow. I can name that brand because they, they came on public television. The, okay. This company raised 10 crore rupees. Which one is that? But if you can, if you may say, they come on Shark Tank. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they they raised 10 crore rupees pre-revenue. They built they 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 got their product. Uh, they burned 10 crore rupees, all of it in marketing this there, and they're doing two and a half lakh rupees per month. Hmm. Okay. Give me 10 crore rupees, I'll build a Taj Mahal. <laughs> Sure, sure. So uh, we will not spending uh, money on marketing. We will be doing some, uh, you know, because because we are a digital brand, we will be doing some digital marketing on on uh, social media pages. Hmm. But that is for awareness only. That is not to generate revenues. That is for awareness that we have launched this. This is what we are doing. You know, uh, the sales will come from the customers. Hmm. That one customer which I'm converting must hmm. come back to me after three months. Okay. So, so what we are your plans to? Cheated. Sure, yeah. sure. So, what are your plans to build a brand out of Humberto? You know, see, for the next six to eight months, we want to keep it pretty organic. Uh, so, in 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 fact, I'll ask you a, a you know another question before that. What is a brand to you? What is a brand to you? So, for example, today I tell you, uh, say sports shoes. What comes to your mind? Nike, Skechers, Adidas. That's a brand. Nike, Reebok, Adidas. There are three brands which come to your mind. As soon as I say as sports shoe, the day Neemans come in your mind, Neemans is a brand, by the way, Indian brand. Okay. The day Neemans comes in your mind, Neemans will become a brand. So, top of the mind recall is going to be your definition of brand. The recall, yeah. Why do you think I write on LinkedIn so frequently? Hmm. That's a recall. I don't get sales from LinkedIn at all. Uh, I do. I should not say this. I do not. I do get sales from LinkedIn as well. I'm thankful to all my LinkedIn family as well. I am now calling them family. This is the first time I use this word LinkedIn family because they gave me sales. Mm. Right. So I'm thankful to them that they're buying from me. They're giving me the feedback, negative, positive, whatever, but they are giving me, uh, they are having trust in me. They're buying from me. That is enough. So my focus is to keep it organic. Very, I don't, I, I don't want to spend say 10 lakh rupees on marketing and generate 1 lakh rupees revenue. That's not my plan at all. You know, I want to spend 10,000 rupees in my revenue, in my marketing and generate 1 lakh rupees in the revenue. That's the plan. How will I make it a brand? It will not become a brand overnight. No brand became brand overnight. Even the smallest of the brand you can think of today, say, for example, Snitch or for example, uh, name any other brand, you know, they started four or five years back, you know, and they worked really hard. So Snitch, although he comes from a rich family or whatever it is, he had a shop and everything uh, off a store, which got shut during COVID, but he worked hard for it, right? The entire team worked hard for it. It is not the marketing which got them sales. It is the hard work which got them sales. Hmm. So, so how do you differentiate hard work from marketing? Because somebody can so actually be like, creative and take the word out to create a big bang. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, yes. Word and bring revenue or awareness in a lot of ways. So, how do you differentiate hard so work from all, marketing? First, first of all, marketing is for awareness purposes. Of course, you you try to. Uh, take out ROAS from your marketing as well. Uh, but the idea I come from, I come from the idea of the marketing should be for visibility purposes, but your sales has to come from your existing customers, from your new customers, from the feedback which you're getting, from the improvements you're doing. Our, today I have say 100 customers or 1000 customers. This 1000 has to multiply to 5000 organically over say one week, one year. And it is not an overnight game. People think I'll go to social media pages, I'll do marketing, I'll do offline marketing, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll spend crores and rupees, I'll become brand. No, that will never happen. It's a small, it's a slow game. You have to be very patient. Sometimes, you know, I, I'll tell you something. When I quit this job, I was, I, getting, I was getting good salary, right? I know. That good salary could be any number you can think of. Okay, I, I know, I know. It is good salary. And today that hurts me also. Why? Because on 1st or 31st of every month, my account doesn't get the great SMS. Same treatment. The same treatment it used to get in the past. Ha! Huh. So I don't get the SMS anymore. And I sometimes feel that uh, it has stopped, man. Let me go back to job. And I can find a job, any any job very easily. Uh, at least in two, three months, I'll find a job. Did you but get that thoughts? Did you get those I got thoughts? 
I got once. Okay. The day What I was led to that thought. I was withdrawing my savings. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'm getting uh, see what we are selling. We are not withdrawing money from our current account at all. We are mm. keeping it there because we want to go for next production as well. Mm. We want to give variety to customers. We don't want to be a T-shirt brand. We want to be a full-fledged clothing brand. That's why we are humble to clothing private limited. We are not humble to fashion. We are not humble to T-shirts. We are not humble to this. We are humble to clothing private limited. We want to be a clothing brand. Okay. You know, so, and humble to clothing will always remain a hundred percent cotton brand. We will not be mixing yeah. anything in our sure. in our in our fabrics. We may bring some other brand uh, mm. to do sports or something else, maybe women's lingerie or uh, in a wear. But as far as humble to is concerned, humble to will remain a. Uh, 100% cotton, organic cotton, or you know, a, a fabric-centric brand, right? Got it. Got so it. it's a sm- so. Then I told myself, you know, you've just been there for one, two, three months, and in three months you are thinking going about going back to you know a job which you did for 15 years. Try, you know, keep trying. So try at least for two years, no? At least try for two years. After two years, you always have the option to go back to job. Yeah. You'll be burning money. You'll be burning everything. But you'll be at the same time learning a lot of things. Yeah. But what is the harm in you know you know uh, in 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 trying for two years? So sure. two years sure. I will be building it organically, mm-hmm. very minimal marketing awareness. But we want to multiply our existing base. We want to leverage that buyer who is buying once from me. You know, there's a ma'am from Juhu. If she's listening, she ordered a couple of days back. Uh, she ordered three. Now I'm naming these areas: Juhu, uh, you know, uh, new South Delhi, you know, GK, huh. and, and why I'm naming these brands? These people can afford any brand. Yes. Any brand they can afford, right? I get that. Still, they purchase my brand. My responsibility mm-hmm. is to give them quality. Perfect. If they have shown trust in me, so I can show you. There is we have we have all the packets here today. Uh-huh. I'm in office right now. See, these are all packets, you know, which okay. the orders which came yesterday. Okay. So, this lady ordered this T-shirt, huh? Hmm. Along with the hmm. uh, couple of more. So she said okay. the size is not good. Uh, so I said I must have made a mistake. You know, you must have ordered something. So she said, okay, could be. So she said, what to do with this T-shirt? I said, don't do it. Do anything with it. Keep it with you because you know reverse logistic will cost me hmm. enough. You know, I'll be in loss. Keep it with you. Give it to someone you know who is your known. Ask them to wear it. Give me the feedback. I'll be coordinating the next T-shirt today. So this T-shirt I'll be coordinating at a larger size, the one she had ordered, and because I'm the one who is packing, I'm the one who is uh, doing everything, right? Oh, is it? Everything I'm doing, all of them. Oh. So, so, right. so what are you doing? You get the consignment. After I have that, the consignment you. here. You can't see my office right now because I have this background. I have the okay. consignment here. Okay. No, no. I'm trying to understand your operation. So you, from your manufacturer, you get the consignment. It is with you, and you do everything. Even the consignment Baap I get. Baap re. Okay, Even the okay. consignment I get. Okay. Tracking, okay. unloading, everything. I mm. stay in office for. Uh, it generally comes at 3 a.m. because sure. uh, no entry opens at uh, 10 p.m. So it reaches my office by 2 uh, 2 and 2 uh, 3 a.m. So I'm here. The last time when it came, I was here for 3 a.m. I got it inside. So I've set uh, everything here in the office itself, and I do everything. So I know if I made a mistake, uh, you know, in the in the packaging, next time I don't have to. So mm. ma'am ordered. So she said I'll pay. No, 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 no need to pay. You know, just give it to someone. You know, I don't want to make money right now. Like you said, my margins are very very thin. But uh, idea is not to make money. Idea is to build a brand. Once a brand, I have a brand. I will make money, sure. for sure. 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 So, so on that note, uh, Sidad, let me ask you slightly a broader question. You know, I, I, I'm saying these words. You know, not you. That Flipkart and Amazon's have a lot of brands, okay, and they have a lot of online tech that can push multiple notifications every day to nudge people and you know promote them and make them buy. So, what's your strategy for you know a similar customers in Juhu or South Mumbai or South Delhi and all, okay? So, how do you compete with these kind of brands, or do you see them as a competition or not? I'm not I saying Amazon, Flipkart, not as an aggregator or an e-commerce platform per se. They have their own private labels. They have hmm. other brands also, and they yeah. have competitive tech infrastructure to influence purchases. Hmm. So, how do you see that? See, D2C is growing, right? Uh, and 
they have the infrared we can go there and list our product any day hmm. any day that's up to us when do we want to hmm. do it and yeah. we can do it any day yeah. we just want them to approach us we don't want to approach them why if uh, i approach them today they will be asking for 30% commission margin uh, commission if they approach me tomorrow i'll be saying i'll be paying you 10% commission you know entire mm. mindset change negotiation ha 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 so today if i go there they'll say 30% uh, we will take and this and that tomorrow when they know that okay people are actually buying from say humberto they'll say okay you can actually list on our platform as well that's when i'll tell them okay i will i will come on the platform but i won't be paying you more than 10% or 12% whatever it is whatever hmm. we negotiate to it sure, sure. these just are indicative numbers not the real ones yeah, yeah. <laughs> indicative numbers so 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 uh, you know if you can broadly and, and project... one more thing huh. yeah one more thing when i go to amazon or flipkart or on uh, mintra hmm. i'll go there as a store hmm. my store will be live there like you have first niche you know people hmm. go to click and hmm. snitch then a snitch hmm. store opens up within the app no. so i'll have that kind of store there i don't want to list my products there like any black polo t-shirt or any white polo t-shirt or anything so hmm. yeah because you, you want me. to maintain that as a standard for your brand yeah the way how people perceive it absolutely okay got it so brand so what? i may take 5 years to build a brand or 4 hmm. years to build a brand but it would be a brand only it won't be an hrx could you elaborate on that because you do so, uh, does that mean you don't want to endorse yourself with some celebrities or invest in some exorbitant marketing costs no What so you, you go to mintra that? you go to mintra and you want to buy a nike shoes you don't search for uh, sport shoes mm you i type nike, nike and all sport shoes correct correct okay you you say that you want to become humberto i want to buy humberto t-shirt see this is aspirational right for somebody who want to make it tangible a tangible goal for next 2 3 6 12 months how do you break that aspiration down so uh, first of all we if we want to go live on any marketplace we'll go live on mintra because that's the fashion platform uh mm-hmm. mintra ajio are the two platforms where we would like to go live with okay uh, uh we there we were, first of all we will be competing with of course the if someone is searching for black polo t-shirt then we'll be competing with all the black polo t-shirt which are coming up uh, on the on the page say us polo or any other brand so we'll be of course competing with them but once i have converted a customer to my customer mm. then i'll make sure that this customer doesn't go anywhere else with your quality and your customer service yes okay, okay. got it so your differentiation is going to be on your product not anything else other than product and customer service nothing product only ha. So, ha. so so you know when so we how when is I, hrx different from this hrx so people don't go to website and search for hrx they go to mm. mintra and search for sport shoes and get hrx because as an ad or promoted product end up buying it because of the cost products are made in china okay right so so they, it's a it's a different psyche they are playing with okay there are all kind of customers so like i said to start with what of kind course of psyche, you, what kind of psyche are you referring to here uh, siddharth they may not be hrx but you may not take their name but anybody yeah, so else like i said if i want to build a brand initially of course i'll be huh. i'll be competing with all of them all of them hmm. if i'm wearing a black polo t-shirt i'll be competing with all black polo t-shirt in the market hmm. irrespective of the price and so for that purpose of course i'll go live on every marketplace uh, may not be flipkart but amazon and, and and mintra for sure we'll go there we'll compete with all the brands we'll see our performance hmm. there our performance will dis- decide whether we want to improve on our quality whether we want to imp- you know change our quality whether we want to change our product range change completely because everyone is selling white t-shirt i have a white white uh, round neck t-shirt in my web- in my website hmm. you can go and check people will know the difference when they wear it and i can tell yeah. you anyone who is wearing my brown or a white t-shirt or a uh, you know uh, a bamboo slab or or remy cotton they knows the difference now okay they know the difference and i know next time they will come they will search for humber to t-shirt understood and not white polo or a black polo or a green polo got it got it so you are you are going to pivot your entire strategy product focused yeah nothing else it's always uh, it's it always product focus always when i initially when i on my on my linkedin i had written uh uh, uh what what term do, do we use uh stealth mode Uh-huh. Okay. So stealth mode is something you know we all use generally when we don't want to tell what what exactly we're doing. Uh, right. 
Hmm. Now investors saw that you know Siddharth because he has some in, you know experience in payments and fintech and this and that. It's just by default it comes to their mind that he must be doing something in fintech. Hmm. Uh, they start. Yeah, you know, exactly. Actually, with your uh, this, you know razor pay, go, go quick yeah, and yeah, all. Pay, 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 yes, bank and fin- <laughs> uh, go quick. Right. They start calling and you know understanding you know what I'm doing in in fintech and uh, I'm not doing anything in fintech, boss. No, pure play business I'm doing. And then their you know other team members come in and they say what is the differentiator? You know X brand is doing that. You know we invested in this brand. I I'm, hmm. I don't name them, but hmm. really want to say. So the investor, you know, they came. They said, uh, he said, you know, we invested in this band, and they are doing this and that, focusing on you know youth and this. I said they will be changing their strategy very soon. He said no, that's the core. They'll be doing it in the core. I said no, boss, we'll wait and watch. Last month. But what's the reason? What's the reason for your argument? See, uh, if you focus on one thing, say for example, someone is focusing on Gen Z. Now Gen Z goes to office as well. Gen Z goes to market as well. Gen Z, when going to office, is not allowed to wear round neck. He is allowed to wear polo or shirt or casual shirt or something else. So men and women both, right? So Gen Z going to market, they'll be wearing drop shoulder, printed everything. But Gen Z goes to office every day. Five days a week. Okay. Five days they need different clothes. Variety. Hmm. Right. Variety. Hmm. So Gen Z would buy a five different or ten different uh, variety for their office going and four for their market going because they're not going to market every day. They're going to market on weekends. So when you're focusing on Gen Z on prints or something else, you need to pivot to someone uh, somewhere else to show the growth. You can't grow. Hmm. And they did pivot. They changed their strategy completely. Their summer, their summer duration came. They changed. Complete assortment change. Change. Complete. Sab kuch change. Okay. And I told my friend, you know, they were telling me Gen Z, Gen Z. Where the Gen Z gone? So, the so when they said Gen Z, Siddharth, when they said Gen Z, what were they actually referring to in terms of the young crowd? Assortment? Young, young crowd. No, no, I get that. But in terms yeah. of product. You know, just instead of the polos that you were offering, example, what were exa- they? Example, huh? drop shoulders. Okay, okay. Those Oversized. Set of category. Okay, okay. Oversized Understood. printed. Mm-hmm. See, print, print, black, white, blue, gray, yellow, five, six colors. Easiest thing to do. Those brands know it. That's the easiest thing to do because the game is Fits fabric. Everyone, no? no, no, game is fabric. In in in. Uh-huh. Uh, Not the size. Garment. No, I'll tell I you. Thought, so, government huh. size can be. You see, you can always increase or decrease the size, hmm. but you have to buy fabric first, okay. and then start something else. Got it. So, Understood. it's a very different game. We'll we'll tell you someday offline. Sure, I have learned sure. this game very well after spending one and a half month last year in Bangladesh. Uh, okay. That to during Ram- Ramzan. Last year Ramzan, I was there. Okay. Till Eid. So I saw everything. I spent time in factories. I spent time in large factories. Hmm. Zara, H and M. On that note, Siddharth, Zara and H and M. You know what were your key learnings from their strategies, from your observations? Because that you I will have share. to get to the board. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I spent how much? I think three four lakh rupees to learn that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Someone pay me 40, 10, 40, 50 lakhs. I'll tell. Okay. What is the strategy? Sure, sure. So, very, so very different. Friends. Very simple. Very oh. simple. Very different. Okay. Everyone sure. thinks they are doing this, but not they are not doing that. They are doing something else. Is it? Okay. We will, we will adopt their strategy. We will adopt their strategy after two years. Okay. Siddharth, will you be okay to disclose that to me since I am not going to come into clothing one after to one. this session? One, ah, one, one to one. one, to one. Okay. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I would love that. So Siddharth, you know, conclu- uh, while I want to just conclude the first segment. Uh, on that uh, part, I want to close it with your thoughts on the future outlook, let's say five years, 10 years from now. How do you see this fashion and apparel industry evolving? And what are your probably top three or top five predictions? Uh, I know you're not an astrologer, neither am I. But the point is, since you're in the game, you could see, you have seen the market from a, lo- a year or so. You could also project with data. Okay. So what are your thoughts 
on how this industry is going to evolve five to ten years down the line, and what are your plans see, for Humberto in line with that? Yeah, so it's a circle. If you see, hmm. uh, fashion keeps going, keeps coming, keeps going, keeps coming. Hmm. Okay. It is always like that. It will go, it right. will come, it will go, and the same fashion will come back again. The same fashion will go away. It will come again after two, three years. So this keeps happening because you can't see men's fashion is very simple. Men's fashion is extremely simple. We wear half shirt, full shirt, jeans, uh, polo, round neck, V neck, uh, button. Uh, that's it. Our fashion ends there. You know, fashion is for women. Mm. For men, that this is the world. For us, this is the world. Our world ends there. Fashion for women, and women fashion mostly comes to India from Europe. Uh, it's not US; it's Europe, right? Uh, so we want to, and I know how to, and this I learned from from Bangladesh and Vietnam. Uh, how larger brands like Hugo Boss? We want to be like Hugo Boss, by the way. I love in Hugo which Boss. way? In which way? Hugo Boss. No, no, I know that brand name, but in which way you want to be like Hugo Boss? the quality the fashion their uh, everything everything i i just uh-huh. love them okay if you see they are very simple very decent uh, the t-shirt just says boss hmm. uh, very minimal branding but you know that it's a quality product which is wearing okay okay so you want to give that kind of quality at hmm. this price so so very in simple. this cycle ha huh. so okay. in this cycle what kind of outlook that do you see for this industry and then to humberto so like i said uh, we we follow european fashion mostly uh abhi thoda sa south asia and uh, south korea fashion we started following but that will go away that will not stay for, forever uh, what, what is south korea fashion in which way they are different I mean, are that's just google it you know you'll see that's very different from uh, what i'm, I'm so so <laughs> primitive is it okay okay yeah so that that's coming from south korea mostly uh, uh-huh. you'll see it in reels in uh, instagram and you know uh, youtube sure uh, so yeah that is coming in but that will not stay here forever what will stay here forever huh. is the long term fashion which which was always there long term fashion there, as in the standard colors standard sizes and all so in summers you'll have a, a light color clothing huh. in uh, that's the same trend going forward yeah in 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 rainy season you'll have flashy clothes yellow huh. blue green you know something like that mm. and mm. Uh, in uh, winters you have dark colors so okay. this will it will remain colors will remain like this uh, even for summers if you go to today if you go to say h&m mm. go to any h&m store today you will see white everywhere it's white and you can try it and anyone who is listening to it you may go to h&m store today and you will see whites you know because that's the light colors that's for summers so we want to follow the similar fashion uh, we will not be experimenting too much with fashion at all not too much we will be doing cords for women very soon we have already uh, ordered it the next fashion which we are bringing in or next clothing or which we are bringing in is linen mm-hmm. uh, affordable linen right linen is never affordable right but we want to do affordable linen in india uh, okay first week of may we want to launch our linen range uh, and it would be for men and women both like i said quads we want to do for women but quads can be split so someone wants to only buy the shirt or the t-shirt they can only buy the shirt they want to only buy the lower they can just buy the lower they want to buy the quad they can buy the quad as well so we want to do this and we want to uh, with our contacts with our industry contacts we want to envisage what other large brands are doing uh, in the next season sure and you want to copy that as well sure and in just a, i'm curious about your linen point uh, siddharth uh, linen is not has not been affordable because the cost of production is costly or you are, you have cracked something that huh. the fabric is so, costly huh. so how are you going to crack that with an affordable uh, you know break in uh, is yes. there any innovation just like you did with bamboo fabric uh, with linen also yeah okay okay so i understand that you don't want to reveal too much on this okay <laughs> all right but for so, sure uh-huh. we will not be adding any polyester any uh, any other cheaper fabric uh, which is which is not good for the environment or the health hmm. or for of this course skin. one one t- key takeaway for me in this last 1 hour 20 26 minutes or roughly this entire session is you are so environmentally conscious you are not willing to lower your bar in fact you want customers to raise your standards by providing constant feedback and so uh siddharth i lost you there 
okay probably there is a internet glitch let's wait for him to join back so so one thing that is coming very clearly from your narrative uh, and from your products and your entire strategy and outlook is you wa- you want to be environmentally conscious and you want to and you don't want to compromise on your uh, quality standards in fact you want your customers to push you upwards okay so that you want to adopt and pivot to what customers want yeah. so that is uh, a seriously appreciable thing uh, uh, siddharth because you know this is lacking in today's clothing uh, consumption patterns okay so i think that's a very good uh, i would consider it as a good way uh, to you know be present in the market as an alternative to a healthy consumption uh, uh, segment so so siddharth you know now that concludes our first segment okay mm. uh, before we go into the last round on the uh, different questions that are probably four or five questions that my community members have for you i want to zoom in on your personal side uh, siddharth okay so so i i i'm quoting your words here you say that you have decided to give my life uh, give your life to those who were neglected by the government okay so what were those instances that you came across that motivated you to decide your these are very strong and passionate statements and yeah, yeah. the sole purpose I, of I'll my uh huh i'll do it one uh-huh. day so 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 what happened what exactly happened which motivated you to declare such statements yeah so uh, if you see on the traffic signals you will you'll see these beggars right i have no sympathy for any beggar in india no sympathy i have zero sympathies for them i give i do not give them any penny but at the same time you will see that these uh, beggars are also very good salesmen and sales women how they hold a baby in their in their hands always and they beg and you give them you tend to give them 10 rupees why because you are giving that 10 rupees for that baby yeah. not for the beggars you know yeah. so they play, play with the emotions they play with the emotions by showing you the baby and he needs food he needs milk so you give him 10 rupees right now whose mistake is it to produce that baby yeah. right yeah but is it baby's mistake that baby no. should get food that baby should get proper food you know and uh, uh, proper life at least education so that they can actually improve their life for them these beggars more babies means more collection more revenue and yeah. that's why they keep producing they keep producing they keep producing they keep producing and for them there are more hands more hands can collect more uh, money from people my idea is to give them the ecosystem wherein these babies get a life they move they get food they get uh, education they get everything right maybe punish their parents yaar who so ever producing them okay. but these these kids should not sleep empty stomach there should be an ecosystem when these kids should get proper meal and sleep properly and uh, get proper education i feel bad whenever i see political parties giving freebies free electricity free water free 10000 rupees in account if you are graduate you get 3000 rupees if you are under give free education give free education to the entire india it is so easy so sustainable a school needs 12 teachers one principal one school bus that's it that's the investment you want what is the salary of 12 school teachers 12 lakh rupees per month but you are educating at least 100 students there these 100 would become see you and me we are blessed why we are blessed we may be born in a middle class family we had our own challenges enough of it in fact i have seen lot of challenges in my life right but at least god gave me eyes ears nose mouth tongue arms legs everything perfect i may be skinny i may be dark skin whatever it is but at least i am perfect i can work hard i can earn money you know yeah so why because i got education i got very good education maybe free of cost government education i got in my entire life i spent 1 lakh 30000 rupees in my education that's it Fully entire life, life. <laughs> yeah, yeah schooling graduation post graduation this that everything one lakh 30000 is what i paid you know because i got that opportunity my father was government servant i got into kendriya vidyalaya my fees of 5 rupees per month you know became 50 rupees per month i got that education why can't you make free for everyone yeah. you know drag them to schools make them study and those who are begging still begging on the road you know put them in jail 
put them in kala pani i am that hard i am that you know people will hate me you know siddharth is so extremist you know he he says put these into kala pani you know what because they stay on the road they put keep producing more kids these kids will have no opportunity to study their kids will have no opportunity to you know grow in life what will they do yeah they also do the same thing today they are begging yeah, tomorrow they'll they'll steal yeah they'll get into uh, you know uh, uh, crime so stop to stop you know of course we are a good population but it is very important to give these mm. kids the next generation educate them about uh, education educate them about reservation policies in india educate them about uh, how they can utilize it educate them about how their education can you know transform their life mm. Mm. there could be one, one yeah one question i wanted to ask you siddhar you said in one of your posts that you know give let's say even if you give me 50 crores or 100 crores and a mercedes benz car and you want me to go outside india and live in canada or somewhere you what you don't want to do that please tell us why do you don't want to do that i am first of all used to this environment indian environment mm-hmm. the kind of freedom i have in india do you think i'll get that freedom in europe or in us or in canada so what kind of freedom can- are you looking at anything i talk whatever i want to talk i say whatever i want to say i eat whatever i want to eat i walk on the road i i do whatever i i take a flight i go to goa i spend 3 7 nights there i you know uh, have fun enjoy there go, come back start working you know this life i cannot live anywhere else i have no to, you can do that in us you can go to no, casino i have to abide by their no, i have to abide by their laws i cannot how are abide different yeah how are they different? very different i mean i don't know how uh, their laws are such but what if someone racially abuses me in us mm. what will i do mm. okay yeah i'll go to my interest was not to... to know the legal differences but rather the no. freedom that you get if you this want is, if this you can is elaborate freedom. this is the freedom i have you know in india can someone racially abuse me <laughs> hey bloody indian what are you doing here can you do it you can't you try to do it i'll <laughs> i'll give it back to you yeah. i can't yeah. do it in us i am in minority there i am just living with uh, as a as an outsider i'm not saying us citizens are bad or but yeah. good and bads are everywhere right mm. all i'm saying is the kind of freedom i have here in india uh i don't think any other country can give that freedom to me any other country the second part of course friends and families are all here right mm. whenever i want i can go to my mother i can see her i can meet her right uh during uh, lockdown second lockdown when covid uh, happened you know when people were searching for oxygen so my mother once called me i remember a date today is what today is 12th 12th yeah, uh, yeah. april 11th april 12th april. Yeah, april so 12th april so 24th april 2001 2021 my mother called me saying i have lost the senses i can't smell anything your father can't smell anything you know i took 4 hours to reach my hometown when people were totally telling me don't go to dehradun you know why are you going there home down mother has uh, corona you may also get covid i said covid i can covid can't do anything to me when my parents are more important right i can go there i went there i stayed there for uh, next for 30 35 days more than that ha uh, uh, 40 45 days maybe because i lost my father on 1st of may so i to uh, then stay there my brother was in france he couldn't come to india he is a french citizen he couldn't come back to india but i was here i could go there so easy so how can i how can i leave this country which has given me so much you know it gave me food gave me name it gave me health it gave me education it gave me everything i am used to this environment i'm telling you we have thousands of problems here thousands but it is still the best country to live in at least sure So in my opinion it is the best i cannot i may go and i have not been anywhere outside india i mean except for work couple of countries here and there but never been to europe never been to us never had that urge to go there never been to maldives i go to goa every, uh, every twice every year you know, but okay. never to maldives and because you know the cost is same either you go to goa or maldives you spend 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees per per person so never been there never felt like going there and mm-hmm. india is a big country we can we can spend our time we can you have europe in india you have us in india you have everything in india yeah. just that you need to find that place in sure, india sure sure 100% so uh, siddhartha you know you talk a lot about some harsh realities you know and that what resonates with me a lot so yeah. what 
what are those harsh realities that you came across if you can share with us you know few instances a lot of them a lot of them hmm. professionally also personally also uh, you know a lot of people who are youth you know people who are in their 30s 40s are watching this you know 40s 50s all the way from the, the audience in my community are you know somewhere from 14 15 years to 40 45 50 years the major mm. chunk so so a lot of them are keen to listen to such kind of stories as well so if you would want to share a few you know tits and bits from your experiences about the harsh realities you know if you can push them so why let's so let's start with the what we did on in our life right hmm. so hmm. my brother he was brainy like i said he has this right he took he is just one year older to me so we are more like friends okay so after his 10th he chose pcm his hmm. chemistry maths yeah, science stream now because he is he has brain right but when i completed my 10th i also chose pcm maybe i have brains but i have no interest in physics chemistry maths i loved but i i don't like physics i don't like chemistry i have no interest in it but i chose physics chemistry because i saw my brother selecting physics chemistry i scored miserably in uh, my plus 2 right and uh, in fact i got to and i say this to everyone i got to know about organ difference between organic and inorganic chemistry after 12th Yeah. Can you believe it? I completed my finish my twelfth past twelfth, and now in graduation, someone is telling me, you know, what, uh, we we studied organic chemistry. You know, and I said, like, yeah, what is organic chemistry? And he told me, uh, you know, carbonated component studies of carbonated component as organic. And like, yeah, really? Oh, now I know it. That's like you should have known it in tenth. I got to know about it, in 12th. but then I realized that this is not something which I like. I have no interest in. Physics and chemistry. I have interest in history. I have interest in geography. These are my subjects. I love. When did you realize that? When did you realize that? When did you realize that interest? I realized it way back, but I was copying someone. No, I realized in tenth, eight, ninth, on itself that I have interest in geography. I love to know the capital of the countries. I love to know what are the com- countries known for the tourist places. today also i watch lot of vlogs lot of videos of people traveling to different countries in africa uh, you know south east asia i love to watch these i love to see these countries through their eyes through their cameras and so i i had interest in that so i chose history or if you know you know art subject in my graduation and of course when you love something you will flourish hmm. today i have interest in history you talk about any historical you know <laughs> event i'll tell you entire history about it who fought whom where who sent whose army where who were our homes who fought with the homes whose army was it who were the one who were fighting it so hmm. you only get to know when you have interest in it and i if you see i i will not say flourished but at least got to know about the realities when i realized that this is something which i like hmm. and i chose it so pers- pursuing what we like is is your first in mba to reality while doing mba people were talking about marketing 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 branding marketing branding marketing branding marketing and i did my summer internship in itc you hmm. named itc right uh-huh. so I, okay. i had launched bingo okay bingo oh, wow uh-huh. 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 Okay. so i was in the responsibility to launch bingo in south delhi okay. so every day i would go to the dealers office the the master distributors Hmm. Basant Ram, Tirat Ram, something like that. I forgot the name. So went to their office. Used to sit in their public carrier in the front seat, hmm. and all the chips in the back. And going to every shop and putting the stock there. You know, visibility. Yeah. Visibility is something you know which is very important. In so if you have Lay's or PepsiCo products, then your product should be as visible. And you know, I realized that this is the life which I want. I can't mm-hmm. sit at a place for more than you see how much I am moving. You are sitting just like this for last one and a half two hours, right? But you saw how I am moving. I am just moving here and there. <laughs> it is not because uh, it is because mm-hmm. I can't sit at a place for more than two hours. Okay. I have to move, and that's why I realized that I need to be in sales. I love this life. Mm-hmm. Maybe sitting in auto, in the public carriers, in the sun, it's mm-hmm. dusty. 
Delhi, you know, it's very dusty. It's dusty, it's hot, everything. Summer internship I'm doing. You know, but this is something which I like. I like to travel. I love to meet people. I love to go and put stock here and there. I love to do this. And that's when I really have to do sales. Now, have you seen anyone who is choosing sales as a career? Mm, yeah, yeah. They, may take, mind, take, yeah. they may take sales because of money. Because sales is a highly uh, paying job. At least highest paying job in for MBAs. You know, if you're doing consulting, if you're doing sales, yep. a salesman is uh, because the variables are very high. Yeah, high. So people tend to select sales because of money. But I was the one who chose sales because I loved sales. I can't sit at a place, right? Sales allows me to move yeah, here yeah. and there. <laughs> Simple. So this is something which I like. I like to talk. You know how much I'm talking for the past. This call was supposed to be for one and a half hour. Yeah. We are reaching nearly two hours and I think one section is still remaining. So I don't know how much time we'll take for this call to finish. So I love to talk. So again, talking, sales requires talking. You can't be mum and sell a product. So you need to talk and talk and talk. So uh, this is the second part which clicked. And yeah. sales, if you can do it, it's also rewarding. Hmm. It's, it is rewarding. It will give you yeah, rewards. It is. It is a lot. People, young kids today select sales for salary. And then they want to move out of sales because of the hardship. Yeah, the pressure. Because of the hard life. Because they, they thought, because you know during our MBA days, uh, we were told that once you complete your MBA, you will have a AC cabin and giving orders to the other people. Okay, That's let me be reality. devil's advocate, Siddharth. Siddharth. I'm actually assuming, no, no. What are those harsh realities? Come on. This what, sales is a lot of what, money, no? Yeah, this is what told us. Teachers told us. This is what Philip Kotler has told us. That once you do your MBA, MB marketing is this and that. And, you know, you'll have a you'll have an AC cabin and you'll be strategizing, you know, making a strategy for the entire company, you know. And you have 20 people are run, you know, running under you. You'll be making them run here and there, making business, you know. You'll be a leader. and they, What leader? What leader? You have to be on the ground. If I remember during my matrix cellular days, hmm. I used to wear a mask here, a, a, a handkerchief here, a handkerchief on my head, helmet on top, a, a jacket. In summers, a jacket on top of a white shirt because in dust and in pollution, your white shirt becomes yellow. A white shirt on top of it. And we initially, I wore a light colored trouser. But on bike, <laughs> in light colored trouser, in your back, you have a mark round mark because you know you're sweating so then i realized that oh i don't have to wear a white light colored trouser i have to wear dark colored trousers only you know and jacket and in summers you know going here and there going to the field selling our products uh you know once i was i entered matrix office and my super was he was like who is it who is it can you please take out your i'm like i'm siddharth you no know, i'm removing everything you know you want to make sure that you're uh, hairstyle doesn't, you know, <laughs> in yeah. the helmet, so you're wearing a vendera and mask so that dust is not, uh, you know, coming onto your face. And these things, MBA will not teach you. These things, mm. no one will teach you. You know, carrying a deodorant in your bag, yeah. which which Philip Kotler told you to carry a deodorant uh, bottle in your bag yeah. in summers. Tell me, which MBA told you to carry a, <laughs> a deodorant? You have to carry a deodorant bottle because we are sweaty. In the hot, muggy summers, you will sweat. You may smell. So before entering the meeting, just spray once. You know, the other person sitting in front of you should get a good feeling from you. Yeah. No one teaches you these things. Very basic things. Don't wear light color trouser if you ride a bike in Delhi NCR or in, in India. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> yeah. This is a harsh idea. You have to wear a dark color trouser so that even if it's wet, it's not visible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so these things are harsh realities of life. You have to be on the field. Bolte Bombay mein there is a saying, you know, if you are holding a local, uh, uh, you are traveling a local met local train, and if mm. this sweat from your underarms mm. is not reaching your waist and you can't feel it, then you are not sa done sales. Mm. That sweat which is flowing, you should able to feel it mm -hmm. in your body right so this is the harsh reality there's so many harsh realities in life um, one of my boss uh, i will not name him mm. uh, i have no hard feelings anymore uh, but he asked me to put down my papers although i was mm. the top performer in my team i can is show you the why? emails i can show you the i'm sorry mm -hmm. is it why, why he, was short of, he was short of numbers oh, so he said okay. you write your resignation to me okay you have seven days you and I can tell you the dates. I remember dates in my mind. 
you know 16th of sorry 19th of june 2014 is the date he asked me to put down my papers and i have 15 days more to give him 2 lakhs revenues more mm-hmm. you know i will not name the company okay so uh, and uh, if i fail to achieve this number he would forward that email to the hr mm-hmm. now think about the pressure i am going through yeah i do not have a job in my hand i am i still achieve my numbers but i have been asked to put down my paper because i i work in my own style mm-hmm. i did my numbers for that month for the quarter for the year also right and uh, i'll not name any company here because it would become very sure. obvious sure you know but uh, very uh, last day i put down my papers hmm. 30th of june i put down my papers resigned and started a new career after achieving the numbers i can tell you the name of the companies from where i ca- i got those checks i'm talking about 11 years ago 10 years ago punjloid engineering mm. gurgaon <laughs> you know, i na- i remember the names mm. my boss was threatening me the last day i was going i was asked to report to the head office my mm. my immediate boss was threatening me ki are tere ko to you know super boss has asked you to resign what will you do now what will you do in your life you know this and that and i'm also scared because what will he say today although i have achieved my numbers but what is he going to say hmm. he must be listening to this if in case he is listening to this i am here because of you i i became whatever i became because of you so what so, did you so, learn i mean what was your learning back then you know what was your take away pressure how share? to take pressure so how did you handle that you have a very limited time to achieve that number so yeah so did, you just have to talk to yourself you just have to talk to yourself you just have to uh, tell yourself that you know you did you did okay and even if you fail there is nothing wrong in failing failing is a part of life what if you failed it's okay i was fired from one of a company even though i was doing great you know my business was doing great the business which i was doing was great that company is still run on this uh, at least that entity runs on the same business which i got from them still Why even today happen? okay long story so there's sure. a lot of things which happens in life and they teaches you a lot of things but those things what what you learn from there they take you somewhere else i'm telling you this i am not i told you i'm not brainy right i don't have einstein brain i am not uh, anything i do not have a very good degree i am a simplest graduate i am i did my mba from bharti vidyapeeth not a tier 1 college i did my schooling from a kv you know everything is just basic nothing i am no exemplary nothing no degree nothing it's just the hard work there are three things which works for me hard work my el- elders bless- blessings hmm. my parents elders everyone who blessed me kept, kept blessing me and god you know blessings were with me and that's why no one could do any harm to me and god kept showing me the path i just walked on the same path whether you call it hard work whether you call it smart work whether you call it anything but it was i give this credit to god that you know it just happened it just happened automatically pay you happened automatically pay you after pay you raise up happened automatically after raise up you know yes bank happened automatically from yes bank i met founders of uh, go quick who were uh, you know doing uh, uh, d2c uh, from there i learned d2c from d2c i reached humberto mm-hmm. i get it. see how the everything is yeah. linked with each other and i tell you the story this is so magical mm-hmm. and i didn't try to achieve anything in my life i just kept my focus on one thing which is hard work because i can't do smart work what is smart work even office politics politics is a smart work right anyone who is playing office politics is very smartly doing a smart work showing someone else's work as his own that's smart work i can't do smart work i can't you know claim someone else's work i have to slog i have to dig my hole i have to dig my well every day to dig my, take out water and i did it i just kept doing one thing and one thing alone today if someone lots of people say you know why clothing brand there's thousands of clothing brands selling online so what 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 i mean this i have three water bottles in front of me i have come to office i buy one water bottle every day let me show you something this is aquafina huh mm-hmm. this is fosters hmm and this is kinle mm-hmm. 
right there is market for everything there is market for everything you know matlab and <laughs> three water bottles just in front of me i'm giving an example so yeah. what is there are thousands of brands so what is maruti suzuki so what is mercedes benz so what is ola uber you come with your own thing you try to sell your product no yeah why why do you want to compete with anyone i that's why i always say i don't want to compete with anyone i'll create my market my market is to occupy 20% of the uh, 25% of the wardrobe. wardrobe irrespective sure. which brands you have in your wardrobe buy from zara buy from agent buy from gucci buy from ye apna snitch also but i will occupy your 20% good cool. so uh, with that you know let's come to the last segment sadat you know i have mm. four questions from my community members okay so uh, here is a question so for somebody who finished btech okay because andhra me you know lot of engineering yeah, yeah. grads you know btech you know that trend right so yeah. if if he or she wants to start a business okay how to go about it is there any process that you would advise yeah first of all whether you did btech because you wanted to do btech or you did btech because you had pressure to do btech if Most you had pressure, pressure. To, if you had pressure to do btech then try to find something which you really like after btech you can do llb after btech you can do you have lot of avenues to do you can do mba you can go for bank po you can go for anything you can even try to become a civil servant you can even go for a government job so try to do something which you really like that's my first advice to anyone who has done btech in pressure irrespective which college but if you have done btech but if you have done btech because you like it and you really learn something in your engineering then try to implement it there are so many things you can solve in india india is like i always say it's a big population it's a world itself Seventy, eighty years, hundred years ago, world population was as same as what India's population is today. Maybe two hundred years ago, hmm. but <laughs> not, not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's so many things. To... Hmm. So there's so many things which can solve today. You know, uh, everyone who has done B Tech and done uh, engineering in Master or Bachelors should work for a while. Should work for a while. Should. Uh, should. In the same field or. Totally unrelated. Whatever he wants to. People. No, no, no. Same engineering field. Uh, Why should they work? This. Why should they to work? Learn. Though I agree. Learn. But yeah. No, to learn. Hmm? Learn. Learn what? Learn what? Learn. Learn how to run a company. Learn how to be a manager. Learn how to uh, take decisions. See, difference between a good manager and a bad manager is taking decisions. A bad manager cannot take decision. A good manager can take decision, and they will stand by it. Even if it's a failure, they'll say, "Okay, we failed. Let's try again." Right. so how to take decisions and you can't take decisions by permutation and combination this is all all bookish knowledge throw it burn it do whatever you want to do it but permutation combination data will not lead you to take a decision decision you can take only by your gut feeling and you learn how to take decision after spending time with good people senior people senior leaders in the industry so work for a while understand how a company runs understand the problems also you know a team can have a number of problems how a manager is solving those problems how you are solving that problem hmm. while working you'll have n number of ideas to implement n number of ideas and any small idea can become a a, a multi billion dollar company you know so always work for a while at least for 2 3 years learn hmm. and then try to implement your learning in your real life so how to go about that let's say uh, while the fundamentals that you laid out are beautiful you know we should hmm. work we should get educated ourselves with the idea that we want to do let's say they they are educated and they have some work experience related or unrelated but they have the principles that you said you know how to work and all hmm. so how to go about next you know how to take that idea to execution as an entrepreneur start, like start first time start small start small don't like think... a pilot no not like a pilot So, for example, there are four things you want to do in one business. Okay. Or take an example of Ola. Hmm. Right. Ola started didn't start as a app or booking platform. They used to take call calls, booking calls, you know. So they started as a call center. They hmm. call call Ola, book a cab. I'll send you a cab at your hmm. place. Right. Then they moved. Then they moved. Then they moved. Then they moved. And now they are here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. So Ola is a classic example. Similar in similar fashion, whatever idea you have, the taking first step mm. is important. Ki people keep planning. Now, someone may say, "Ki Siddharth, why only say twelve, thirteen items SKUs in your item? Why only twenty six SKUs? Why not eighty? Why not hundred? Starting is important. I want to start. 
so once you start then you start learning hmm. with your learning and implementation then you start building and during this whole process you also make friends you also make uh, find investors you also find people who will join you in this journey yeah and then you start cool. but starting is important be small i'm mm -hmm. uh, from andhra even if you're selling a property andhra only only land is left in andhra pradesh now i've been to andhra pradesh why I did lot so of i did lot of government projects in andhra pradesh so uh, why is only land left in andhra everything else saying that brains have left telangana, telangana has ah. taken lot of it <laughs> see see so yeah. so you have lot of land left you don't have much of industries left you don't have much of agriculture left you don't have much of technology left but you have to start from start again so since you have to start again we as a uttarakhand state uttarakhand we also started from scratch and we also like you didn't had anything but we were blessed we were blessed by one thing that is tourism yeah so beautiful places yeah, yeah. we we encash on tourism itself only tourism so be it summers winters we have tourists coming in every time except for rainy season we have tourists coming in every time uh, we we make money and the state makes money from yeah. from uh, uh, from tourism and i know people who did engineering from rudki engineering college or iit rudki as well who entered tourism industry and are flourishing yeah yeah sure so similarly andhra pradesh also has lot of temples yeah uh, there is a lot of lot, big sea coast and we also have lot of tourism potential on paper yeah. you will see so someone for sure I, i know someone from andhra pradesh will stand and do something in tourism that's my gut feeling hmm. tirupati is there only right yeah yeah so you know my hints are where my hints are going <laughs> they can people can do lot of things in technology they can bring in technology together and solve lot of problem parking is one sure. problem you know hmm. you can solve uh Governments will also promote, I'm sure. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. So, so the second question, I think you already answered the prior experience. Is it required or not? You said it's a must-have. That's already answered. So, the second, last but one question is, what are the general skills required to start a business? Maybe top three. These are like general skills. No fear of failure. Okay. No fear of failure, and no fear of failure. That's it. There are three skills you need. <laughs> we started anything so i was listening to uh, ashneer grover some time back mm -hmm. so he said anyone can become an entrepreneur the only thing is which stops you to become an entrepreneur is your salary which keeps coming in your account every month so live without salary for one year and you will become an entrepreneur see we do not want to do something because we have fe fears what if this will not happen what if this will not happen what if this what if are fears you know have no fear of failure think of this this way i'll fail i'll start again i'll fail but let me very sure about one thing hmm. be in a position that you tell yourself that irrespective of what happens in my life i will not starve to death i'll not starve to death i'll do i'll drive an ola i'll drive an uber i'll drive an uh, i'll do uh, labor work but i will not starve I'll why is hard. that conviction required siddharth why is that conviction required see that is required because you need to tell see that that's for your own self it is not easy to give up on salary which is hitting your account every month so you need to have that motivation some motivation what is that motivation that motivation is that i am capable i did job for 5 years i did job for 3 years i can find a job again but if i lose this time today the idea today then this time may never come back again time is the most important thing in your life you know it's all about uh, capacity to take risk today we say capacity today siddharth is saying all these things you know why because siddharth has the capacity to take risk i realize that i my liability are going down i have some savings in my account so i have that so you need to be very focused you need to be very concentrated that your capacity to take risk is very high no you can't you can't just say ki oh i failed now what do i do i lock my door sit inside apply a nokri oh i'm not finding job okay for one month i don't find a job second month i'll become a ola driver mm -hmm. if anything bad happens i'll start saving again mm -hmm. after two years i may try again whatever i learned i'll implement them this of this 
I say this to everyone. I say this to one of my techie uh, partners as well. I have a co-founder as well. Uh, so I tell this to him as well that difference between a good startup and a bad startup is that good startup execute well and they fail fast. You know, sure. the difference is in execution. The ones who execute well will succeed, will surely succeed. And those who keep dreaming, ah, uh, we will do this next month. Ah, uh, okay, let's plan this. Let's make strategy. They will not be able to do anything. Those who strategize will just keep strategizing. Those who make quick strategies, implement, fail or pass. That's that's a byproduct. Yeah. But you have to implement their strategy. That's important. Sure. So, so my answer to that question is, uh, I mean, my answer from your answers to help my community members to encapsulate are these three. First is avoid fear of failure. Second thing is, you know, get like you uh, lastly said, you know, uh, make sure that whatever you learn, whatever you do are uh, actually going to, you know, uh, make you fail faster. As well as, you know, make sure that those learnings are, you know, incorporated to again, you know, take a new genesis yep. for the new experiment again. Yep. Right. And and, and lastly, la the last question, uh, Siddharth, you know, uh, he, this person is actually planning to set up an ed tech company. Okay. Uh, ed with tech. schools as, yeah, ed tech. Okay. Education uh, technology startup uh -huh. uh, with schools as his customers. So, what are the basic marketing strategies that are required for for him to launch and take the take his startup forward? No, it's a B two B product completely. Since the schools are the customers, then mm. they don't have to spend a penny on marketing, a single penny on marketing, mm. right? They need to have five customers. This person needs to crack mm. five schools mm. for free. Okay, now mm. take these words very seriously. Have five customers for free. Give your product to these five schools, very important schools for free. These schools who are using your product will become your talking point. Okay. You, when you pitch your product to the sixth school, you will tell them that these five schools are using my product. You will not tell them that they're using for free. You will tell them that they're just using yeah. it. <laughs> sure. You know, Fine. using is important. Your mm. it's a B2B product. It's not a B2C product like like any other Paytm or Equafina or a Kinle, where you are doing a marketing and you know, people will buy. Your target, your target is schools. And it's very easy. You can just go to walk-in schools and tell them that this is the product I have built. This will help your students in this and that. I don't know what product it is, but this is how helpful it is. And I'm ready to give it to you for free. Just use it for free for five, six months. Six months after six months, if you don't want to use it, scrap it, but use it. I'll train you. I'll train you on this product. I'll sit with you and start sitting with them for six, six months. Mm. Spend time with the school. I was in Times of India. My salary was, you know, how much? Three lakh sixty thousand rupees annually. Okay. My salary was three lakh. My variable was also three lakh sixty thousand annually. Okay. That's the capping. Ninety thousand maximum you can earn in a quarter, and I earned ninety thousand every quarter. You know how? I spent time with every HR. That was Times jobs. I used to sit with the HR for three, three hours, used to search candidates, used to make calls in front of them, or then I used to make them call the candidates, convert the customer. If I can convert one, one resume into their employee, I can sell my entire database for to them for annually. I can show the worth of my product. Three, three hours. I'm telling you, yeah. there was a rule in my company time jobs. And I'm telling you this on paper on record. That there was a rule in time job that you get your daily allowance only when you do three unique meetings every day and five meetings in a day. I can't do it. I never did it because I used to spend three hours with one customer. Yeah. Maximum two customers I could cover in a day. That's it. I never made DA daily allowance of I think 200 rupees. It was at that time. Uh, don't remember, but yeah, never made that to that DA because I would spend two hours in one, three hours in one place. How can I move to five locations? My CEO, COO Madhukar, Nambi Yadamirko, he even raised the question why this guy is not selling more than or not doing more than two, three meetings in a day, still getting his salary. Why is in his system? Hmm. Because my numbers were highest, my sales number were highest. I can show you the email. 
every quarter i got that email number 1 number 2 number 1 number 2 never that i was out of the top 3 in entire india sales team of 120 employees every competition i won every sales competition i was the number 1 i can show you every email i forwarded because that was sense of pride i got by selling so for this customer don't do anything you have to work hard you have to go to schools convert the schools first five customers free of cost these five will convert your next six next 10 next 100 next 200 500 1000 schools sure. don't try to sell your product to the first school you're going to tell them to use it hmm. show them the utility if they get to know the utility every other customer will buy your product excellent excellent i think that's a wonderful takeaway siddharth i'm curious about uh, do, do you know this person called jordan belford no i don't read books at all mm, mm. did you watch this movie wolf of wall street yeah yeah i did okay he's the same guy so he, he, his story is a real one that's not an actual know, uh, made up story yeah, fully so so do you subscribe to his selling techniques and all no not at all no his Why? Technique, no his selling techniques may work in us it will not work in india why india is a very different so his selling techniques were mostly on phone now okay. us is a evolved society where people do not discern the phone on your face mm. you know sir i'm uh, i'm calling from xyz bank i'm i want to sell you credit card mm. us yes. is not that kind of market they listen to what you're saying if if someone is listening to you for 30 seconds you can still convert it if someone is not ready to listen to you and now you have true caller which mm. which tells you that which call is a fake call and which call is not a fake call <laughs> all becomes different so here it is all about emotion here it is all about physical touch it's all about how you are interacting how you are talking to a person i have mm. converted many customers in my life who said they do not want to buy anything for my company mm. and how did they eventually ended up because of the rapport that you build with them yeah i built, i i took time to sell i never i never first time they said i will not name the company i went there to sell uh, uh, pay you right they said no, no no we can't buy pay you because we can't use pay you because pay you is uh, a naspers company and we compete with naspers and this and that they have a competing uh, product as well so i said okay fine no problem no don't buy cool mm-hmm. i so, sat with, have had tea with him huh. big customer talk about big merchant i had okay. tea with him and came back to my office but every time i was in bombay bangalore every time i was there i just called him saying ki i am in although i was never in the, his region oh. i just called him to saying i am in your region can i just come and meet you for 5 minutes you know just 5 minutes nothing i just i am here i thought to say hello to you i just and i made sure i do not spend more than 5 minutes there second mm-hmm. time i went there i sat there i said hello how are you all good sir how's work and this that blah 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 etc etc i checked my time 5 minutes and i said sir i have to rush for another meeting although i just went there for this 5 minutes meeting hmm. but i said i have another meeting to go i had 5 minutes i thought i just say hello and i go and i left next time i again went there sir can i sit can i come for 5 minutes yeah if you because he knows now he knows he won't take more than 5 minutes last mm-hmm. time i did take more than 5 minutes now he knows he won't take 5 min- more than 5 minutes i went there i sat there he said will you have tea i said i'll have coffee now this 5 minutes become 20 minutes no sales no work mm-hmm. last while he, i was getting up in this third call he said okay at least sell, send me the commercials mm. <laughs> i said okay i'll send you the commercials next i sent him a commercial after two days specifically after two days mm. i could send the same commercial the same night i didn't do it why i do not want to show you my urgency mm. i am not in urgency to sell you my product i came here to say you hello i said hello you said ask me to send you commercials i'll send you commercials when i have time time but but siddharth no. wouldn't that convey a kind of neglect when you don't no. send the commercials on the same time by now i have to, by now i have reputation with him by this time i have reputation with him it would have been if in the same first call he had said send me a commercial mm-hmm. and i am not sending you commercial next two days but by the third fourth meeting mm-hmm. i am calling him he inviting me making me sit have coffee hmm. now i have reputation so now he knows that this guy is not lying to me he is not here to sell me anything he is not here to push me his product this so now it becomes complex now siddhar <laughs> because yeah, yeah, it's all science it's absolutely science sales is all about science you're just using your 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 methods whatever you learned over the period of time like i said 
third time i fourth time i sending commercial and i didn't follow up ha huh. the fifth time i was in bombay i again went to his office i said for one hour this time mm. one hour or maybe more more than one hour i think two hours i sat in his office so i talk 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 you know by this time he trusts me by this time i have you know he knows that this guy is not lying to me you know his his company may be a liar you know but this guy is not lying to me mm. now he is listening to me now i'm telling him what you are using okay this is what you are using this is what we have this is how it is better than your current product this is what you need to do you know imp- you can improve this by this way i am not selling i'm just telling him how he can improve his his whole mm. journey experience how it can be how i can be helpful to him i'm trying to help him i'm not selling yeah. and at the end i just told him one thing if you think we are a competing product you are most welcome to come to our office with your auditors with your techies do a complete audit of our uh, of our uh, office do the uh, you know auditing and see if any data is being shared by anyone in any way you think we have competing we may share data come do it next month we went live on the website got it, got it. no audit required and they are still pretty much a customer i don't know whether they are still a customer or not but yeah till the time he was there uh, they were using awesome awesome i think this is a kind of uh, picking up from your wisdom this is the, the last one is my favorite actually you know because unless you experience that you don't you you can't get the context so so you have I to learn you have to learn hmm. yeah yeah you have to learn a so. customer saying no doesn't mean he's he will never become a customer hmm. at that time he doesn't have a requirement correct how do you know about the future they i i've seen i have i've had a customer who said uh, one of my competition i will tell i'll name it paytm paytm is giving free payment gateway they are giving uh, cash back on the wallet also why should i take pay you my answer was sir honestly speaking you should not take pay you you should only buy paytm because i cannot compete with free i can't give it for free i can't give any cash back also hmm. you know today go ahead and take paytm hmm. here is a business card just say my number the day paytm start charging you give me a call that's a simple thing you have to do yeah the and most honest answer and after that i yeah i we converted it they didn't they didn't integrate paytm they took paytm what? wallet but they took paytm wallet for cashback but payment gateway they took ours why what's the reason technology our technology better at least at that time technology was better so we said uh, this is the technology which we are selling and uh, convince but there have been instances in education especially when customer said no we'll go ahead with paytm we said okay fine go ahead mm. but i made sure that i kept messaging them mm. uh, during occasions say holi diwali new year i just kept sending whatsapp messages happy new year to you and your family you know regards siddharth day and the company name just a reminder that i still exist i'm still there anyone who got message from my side during these festivals uh this was a strategy yes <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah so uh, i kept uh, sending them and one fine day someone called me saying okay let's catch up let's meet so simple very simple mm-hmm. don't don't let them forget your name because here what will happen is they may remember company's name say pay you yaad hai reza pe yaad hai अब रिजर्व की वेबसाइट जाके मैं रिजर्व का से या यूट्यूब लिंक में जाके मैं मैं रिजर्व आई आई टेक ब्रिंग आउट रिजर्व पे सेल्स गाय एंड स्टार्ट यू नो इंटरेक्टिंग विद हिम नाउ आई सोल्ड हिम रिजर्व पे बट ही इज बाइंग इट फ्रॉम समवन एल्स राइट सो ही शुड नो रिजर्व पे मींस और पे यू मींस सिद्धार्थ डे एंड दैट हैपेंस ओनली बाय कम्युनिकेशन राइट इट्स इफ इट्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट कस्टमर एंड यू वर नॉट एबल टू कन्विंस कन्विंस और कन्वर्ट देम एट दैट टाइम मे बी इन द फ्यूचर you know God. but keep meeting them keep keep interacting with them there is one more trick which i learned in sales yes please is if you can't sell confuse them <laughs> so wherever the confusion leads to purchase does it oh <laughs> yeah. so so, uh, so ex- let's take an example i'm going uh, i'm going uh, i'm i have come to sell you a humbaru t-shirt okay, okay. so you say uh, ki okay yaar uh, but i think i'll buy uh, you know louis philip or uh, any other brand uh, i think i'll buy louis philip uh, so i'll say uh, sure uh, louis philip is very good uh, i think you should go ahead with louis philip the only thing is i 
they were a customer of mine uh, last time i was interacting with uh he stopped wearing louis philip example okay louis philip don't sure, send sir. me a legal notice <laughs> louis philip is the best pet in the world <laughs> so so louis philip uh, is okay not louis philip say any other band xyz aquafina uh-huh. is selling a t-shirt uh-huh. Uh, Aquafina is selling t-shirts. I, I say, okay, Aquafina. You know, one of our customer he purchased Aquafina uh, last time. Sure. Hmm. But uh, he told me that you know the collars are actually slightly not good. Uh, they keep folding. Although it is very good brand, at least for ten twenty till ten twenty washes, uh, it's a, it's a good brand. I think you should go ahead with it. Uh, but uh, do check you know how things are with it. Now you confuse him. You know, you have confused his decision making. What you have done is, uh, you have not said anything bad about any product. You have not said anything wrong about the product. You have just given a feedback, and the feedback has to be genuine. Mm-hmm. It can't be any vague feedback. Fake. You know? oh, the feedback has to be genuine. That that he starts checking with that customer, Aquafina T-shirt guy. That hey, this thing I heard that you know your this thing doesn't work properly, or you know it color bleeds, the color also fold. Is it true? Then he start defending. Ah, sir, maybe in one T-shirt it may have happened. No, not on all T-shirts. No, no. Now he's confused. Hmm. Now you know. So you confused him. So, anyways, he was not buying your T-shirt. He was buying a Kohina. But now after confusion, you have actually created a fifty percent possibility that he may come back to you. Simple. So Chances this is a. Chances are. Badaya. Cool, cool. So Siddharth, I think. you know on that note i must say that you know this is very uh, you know it is very good to know lot about fashion industry through your experience in humberto how it originated especially you coming from a you know stellar still uh, sales career from your uh, go quick yes bank pay you and all okay starting seeing you as an entrepreneur and sharing uh, uh, your experience with us is our delight and uh, siddharth i look forward to and and lastly that was my favorite you know what are the strategies that you suggested for edtech you know and the experience that you shared from your wisdom i must say not techniques and all it's more of yeah, wisdom for any 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 anyone who is planning to do b2b business hmm. anyone hmm. marketing is not your game don't get into it you will never be able to solve your problem with or you will never be able to convert uh, leads from marketing hmm. any It's marketing your play product experience your play product your your customer will speak for you hmm. say if the largest school is a dune school dune school is one of the best school in india right so the dune school start using their tech product now if they go to don bosco saying you know dune school uses my product sir you are don bosco maybe you are don bosco but dune school my customer yes you see the impact yeah yeah got it sure Sure, awesome, awesome, uh, Siddharth. You know, it's a delight to have you with us on our podcast and share. My pleasure. Uh, you know, have an opportunity to, to listen to your insights and experiences. Thank you, and uh, I'll make sure that the next meeting, next podcast, will not take this long. Uh, you know, you have stretched almost an hour. Uh, you know, for for this. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, and thanks, thanks, Vijay. Thank you. Have a good day. We look forward to see you again uh, on our podcast uh, with your next milestone. in humberto that uh, uh, that cool thanks sudat thank, thank you, you so much thank you bye 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 bye